Dun 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 dun. <laughs> dun 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 dun. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's no. up? What's up? What's up? It's Tuesday. I'm um, right here on the Narcast Network. Tuesday. So you know what time it is. It's time for the Paranormal Narcast. Um, and we're on the here. Our tapes network. On our tapes network. And I. We I will. Um, I'm one of your hosts, Isaac Arita. Next to me, our other host, uh, Ricky Gage. We're out here live from Los Angeles, and I would love to give a um a, a very very welcome back to Duffy. Very um, welcome back, Duffy. Very our other back. co-host. <laughs> give it up. Give it up for Duffy. Very welcome back. Uh, Thank you. Good I'm to like. Be back. <laughs> He's laughing over there. Yeah. Don't make fun of my English. Very welcome Good to be back. back in LA. Very welcome back. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Very Dude, welcome back. Yes. Not properly. Yes. When it asks on Facebook, like what I speak, I say English poorly. <laughs> Uh, English, okay. Um, yeah, but yes, very good to have you back, Duffy. Yes, yes. Very, Thanks. What? Welcome, very, very welcome back. Very welcome back, buddy. Thank you. That's my new album. I feel like Cotter. <laughs> Mr. Cotter. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us. If you have me, please smash that motherfucking like button. Hit the subscribe. And um, check out the website, nartapes.com slash GTG for some fun goodies. We're getting the new tapes in this week, I believe. Yeah, we're getting them uh, by Friday, the latest. We got um, <laughs> a couple hats, a couple of those Nartapes um, dad caps. True, a few of those. true, Not true. Not too many, so if you go to the website, you'll be one of the, the, the first and few to get these uh, limited, limited run. Well, we're actually having another dozen run of each of the old Nart hats we had before. Okay. Plus, we're also going to be having a white thing hat. A memories hat and a beret dog hat um, by Saturday, I think. There you go. Yeah. So we'll have a bunch of cool shit going Ooh. down. And um, hell yeah, today um, right here on the Paranormal Narcast, we're talking secret societies, man. You know. Yeah, a bunch of those. These types of, um, you know. <laughs> This isn't a spoiler or anything, no. but like in my research that I've done today, all these fucking groups are just like old ass white fools who are just yeah, like, dude. Ah, really yeah, old I white want people. it this way. It needs to be this way. So it's kind of like cults. Yeah, yeah. kind of, but they, they, you know, they do have um, major influence of how the world works and runs, you know, when, when it's people who own the banks and are politicians and the media moguls it's yeah it's just like all these it's just all these old white guys we were watching some of this video with me patty earlier and like three three like white dudes in a row it was like gravity was just like doing a number on these guys faces oh, yeah, like oh, <laughs> they look like balls you know oh it's a ball chinian <laughs> <laughs> is that men in black, men in black too, what yeah. a cheap joke oh, no. like, it's so good <laughs> okay he's a ball chinian <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he kicks him in the fucking chin, punches him in the chin. And yeah. They sh I remember as a kid, and they show the balls, and I lost it. I thought it was crazy. Yeah. I was like, whoa, they're pushing the envelope insanely far. Yeah, that's just pretty funny. And he's like all like puby. Like his face was all puby and stuff. Yeah. The alien. Oh, man, I love Men in Black. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Even Josh Brolin is really good in it. Josh Brolin. I'm Josh Brolin. Yeah, Brolin. you're pretty. You do a good one. I'm Josh Brolin. Brolin, 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 what? <laughs> Hi, I'm Josh Brolin. Give me a beer. I'm Josh Brolin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm kind of into that. I'm Josh Brolin and them cable. Yeah, because he's kind of like a uh, like a Talk respected no actor. Man, I'm Josh Brolin. Like a proper respected actor. Hey, cable's a proper uh, respected actor. Should we hit that intro, yeah, but intro real quick before we uh, get started? Yeah, shall we? Yeah, yes. but those Marvel movies aren't legit, you know what I mean? Thank you guys for tuning the in. Uh, we're just getting started. We're going to play the intro. Uh, hit the like button. Go to the website. Shoot some donations. The show is uh, funded only by you guys. And we can't uh, we can't go without some donations. Or we might pull the plug on this show forever. So, Never. Uh, what's up, Carly? What's up, Fiona? All right. We'll see you guys after this intro.
yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome back um, to the Paranormal Narcast right here on the Narc Tapes Network. Spank that like button, hit the subscribe, let's keep it hanging, y'all. How's everyone doing tonight? If you're having a good Cheers. night, um, or a poor night, or an all right night, say what's up in the chats and let us know um, how you're feeling. I hope to make your uh, your night better. How you doing, Duffy? I am chilling hard. I got two more shakes. I'm in a cell. Um, what were you? It was 420. Um, from Chadley. Hell yeah, Chadley. Thank you so much for that, dude. Appreciate that. Um, slowly breaking into the Twitch world. We're trying to figure out our Twitch game a little better. Um, yeah. but thank you, Chadley, for that. I appreciate that. I guess we'll, we'll smoke a dab or something, um, to honor that, right? Is that? Yeah. yeah. I'm into that. Very good. So, Duffy, you got two milkshakes. Let them know about your two milkshakes. Dude, I'm way down. You go to the, the corner store out here, and they got these, this big machine called a Frio machine, man, because they are fucking for real. <laughs> real ice cream. It's like um, freeze yeah, dry. I've seen those. Powdered milk. They just add water to it. You know, the machine does it all. And these awesome little milkshakes come out. They're better than most of the fast food milkshakes. Um, I'm a big fan of chocolate. And like McDonald's and everybody, they fuck this all up. They use vanilla ice cream and chocolate syrup. And I'm like, I don't want a sundae. I want a fucking milkshake. Yeah, you didn't want vanilla. Yeah, I don't want vanilla with chocolate syrup. That's a completely different flavor than what I'm craving. Yeah, I want chocolate. Yep, and so Friel, they're the fucking truth. They got it. <laughs> Very good. Um, they are not a sponsor of the show. We're just um, plugging them because they're, bo- cause they're <laughs> bomb. Humans in the building. What's up, human? How are you doing? Oh, well, hello, human. I will do a dab for you guys. Hell yeah, I got a nice little whole space right here. This is great. Yeah, I stand here with y'all. Yeah, Patty's going to do some, uh, some conspiracy-related McDonald's for us. Oh, man. <laughs> There's a little secret society over there. A little secret society sauce. I had to add on everything. Yum. McDonald's. It's good and good for you. Yeah, it's extremely, extremely healthy. going to give you a long, long life. I like their organic menu. Oh, yeah. Do they have one? <laughs> McDonald's. He's joking. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm Arms running it. it. <laughs> That's gonna be the national anthem someday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of the United States of McDonald's. McDonald's was like uh, about to just the, the mold a few years ago. The Mick yeah, United tra- States of McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> the Mick U of A. Jesse Mathis says this is too scary. He's right. This is horrifying. Yeah. Don't even, uh, you know, cover your eyes. What up, buddy? Ears. When are you uh, coming down? To Los Angeles. I don't oh, know yeah. yet, but soon. It won't be too much longer. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I, um, I'm i making arrangements. Uh, I got sick. I didn't expect to get sick, but I'm getting better. Uh, Good, I'm man. taking my antibiotics. It's Good to hear. We need yep, to turn him and uh, right. just kind of chilling on that. Sleeping a lot? Like a lot. Um, I, I totally, like, didn't wake up in time yesterday. I, I slept all day. But uh, I woke up refreshed today. Like, no joke. Nice. Ugh. Way too much energy. Yo, That's Duffy, good. I gotta thank you again, man, for the fucking Doom for Switch. Boy, does that Dude, game kick I ass. Dude, I through that game so fast, and I was like, anybody who likes good shooter games is gonna have fun with this. Yeah, it is awesome. So, congrats. Yeah, it looks I'm really glad fun. you enjoyed it. Yeah, man, thank you so much. I'm going to play that, and then I'm going to play uh, Brandon Got Me Bayonetta 2 for Switch. Okay. Oh, yeah, that looks really good, too. Yeah, I'm going to play that after Doom. Hell yeah. Yeah. But Sexy Bayonetta. I, can't play, I tried playing uh, yeah. Bayonetta, and I was like, I got to get done with Doom first. Dude, it's hard, right? Like, I keep going between games. I'm halfway through Mario Odyssey. I'm, like, I'm still only in the beginning of, uh, of the new Zelda game because it's, it's just too good. I want to indulge in it completely. Yeah, for sure. And, and that's like such an open world game where it's like it's a whole world and part of the game is is getting to know your world, yeah, you know? I didn't play, yeah, I didn't play like anything GTA else. 5, you know? <coughs> I didn't play anything else for like a whole month. <coughs> right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There you right. go. There's dab. Dabby, I got this sick uh control surface from that guy too. Like a pro Oh, that's surface. awesome, man. Yeah. I love it. Cool. Yeah, that's motorized baby. What's that? An actual like did you design one? No, actually it's a Mackie. Um which, awesome. is, which is great. Mackie is great. It's kinda interesting. I thought yeah. it I thought it was specifically for Pro Tools, but it was actually it's actually like they they shipped them out with um these little pl- these little face 
faces that you stick to them. So like, if you have a lot, it's it's meant for logic. But then if you have Pro Tools, you just like stick the face on, and, and it changes what, <laughs> what it says what the buttons actually do. You know. Um, cool. But what I don't I ever have all the shit to plug it in yet. What up, Slick Like Nixon? What up, Cameron? Oh yeah, Slick Like Nixon. Good to see you, man. It's Jesse, been a while. Jesse says he's coming April, May. All right, well. We're gonna. When do we go to France? We get back like end of a, end of April. End of April. May, uh, Let me see. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be in France right before my birth month. Yeah. Turning thirty, dirty thirty on May thirteenth. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, you're gonna have a good time. Yeah. Last That's year. That's the last fun one. Yeah. When I turned thirty, we played a show that night in Orange County at this all ages venue, yeah, which right, which, right. which wasn't ins and outs. So, like, all the kids were inside, and we were literally standing outside of the door, like, in next to the van, drinking yeah. and smoking and partying <laughs> right outside the, the, the no booze venue. It was really bad. Nice. Yeah, I was 30. It was my 30th birthday, you know, coming full circle. I was on um, my first tour ever when I was 21. I turned 21 in Redondo Beach, California. Nice. And uh, I got drunk, like, really drunk, and I fell asleep on stage. That's time. <laughs> That's the whole story. <laughs> oh, my 21st birthday. Oh, it's Fiona's birthday today. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Fiona. We love you. Happy birthday. On my 21st birthday, I like got wasted at the bar. <laughs> and then I like came home and I was like so um, hung over the next day. And I was like, oh, I don't want to go to class this morning. And then like an hour later, I was like, I'm not going to class ever again. <laughs> 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 And I dropped out of school. <laughs> That's <laughs> my dad, awesome. My dad was bummed, but what can you do? Yeah, uh, so of course you got to follow your heart. Yeah. I was like, man, why am I studying this shit with my friends who are like touring around making music? Yeah, you were totally supposed to be there for that, man. True. Look, see, that you're still there. Yeah, look at what. Now look at us. Live on the NAR Tapes Network. Yeah, motherfucker. Yay! What's up? Happy birthday, Fiona! Yeah, tomorrow birthday. Pisces Club for sure. Carly just has so many Pisces up in here. Hell yeah, because Pisces. My is Humans is on Thursday and Isaac's on Sun Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, bro. Yours was Saturday twenty fourth. Twenty fourth. Yours was a Saturday too. Mine is usually two weeks and uh, before Isaac. Yeah. Uh, and Except that's leap year. Leap year. Did you guys know that Nickelback and Kid Rock have a cover of Saturday Night's Alright for Fighting? They each have really? one? Really? Well, no, they, I guess. They did it together? They did it together, yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Isn't that crazy? You know what's crazy? That. You know what's amazing? A really cool thing that's happening at NAR? We have a ladder now. Yeah. And Whoa. I think you just get it on the roof whenever I want. I just got on the roof earlier and was checking out downtown LA. It looked crazy and rad. Yeah. Beautiful. You can see the hills really good over oh, here. The, the, over here, these hills. You can see, like, down into, like, the neighborhood a little bit more. Yeah, I guess it's taller Whoa. than all the houses and shit. Uh -huh. Look, Cam got his records and headshots today signed. Very yeah. good. Hell yeah. yeah. I just You're saw welcome, I just saw the notey for the uh, for the he mentioned it on Instagram. Nice. Beautiful. Hey. Well, very good. Um, Hi, Bree. What up? Bree's Hi, in Bree. the building. Hell yeah, we got 15 watching. And let's, guys, let's get some more likes up in there, subscribes. Let's get to a hundred in donations today, guys. I know we can do it. Get a shotgun beers, yeah. uh, buy some stuff on there. It's our season finale. We're not going to be here for the next two weeks, so. Uh, well, I'm glad I made it back, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give us some love. Oh, show man, show us you love week. it because the show did really. Uh, we, all the shows were kind of like dragging this season, so we really want to push it. You know, and I know a lot of you guys already throw a lot at it, but like, let tell your friends. I let other people know about this shit too, and also anybody else who's watching has never seen this before, and you're wondering what you're watching. This is the Nar Tapes Network, uh, which is run by the band White Fang, which is uh, three of us of the four band of the guys who do White Fang, which is a band that's been around for about 13 years almost. The band we run a record label called Nar Tapes that's been around for 10 years, uh, and we have this Nar Tapes Network thing that we've been doing for two years now, and uh, we. Uh, we have the show, Paranormal Narcast, is live every Tuesday, and that's what you're watching right now. Thank you earlier to, what was that, Chadley? Yeah. Chadley. For the 420 uh, donation, that's why I did that dab earlier. Uh, and so anybody else who's, uh, you know, loving the NAR or, like, just to watch the stuff that we, you know, we're an independent band in Los Angeles. This is paid for totally by us uh, and you guys. So, it's true. You know, like, we only get, everything else comes out of pocket. 
the internet bill, all this, all the other stuff, this, our time coming out here for you guys all, every single week uh, to That's do right. the stuff. So just keep that in mind while you're watching this great show that they, these guys spent all day preparing for you. Yeah. So, yeah. It's only yeah. made possible by viewers like you. Yay. Carly That's G true. says, wow, a ladder? What brand? How tall? That's so cool. Always wanted a ladder. I collect ladders. Okay, well, it's a 20-foot ladder. <laughs> the brand is, um, fuck, I, I just, I, it was like, they make something. It was an L. Oh, man. Drops an L. Ladder. It's not Ladder rigid. Boy. It's not rigid. <laughs> um, no, but... Louisiana or Louisville or something. Louisville. Yeah. Louisville. Yeah, I remembered because I was like, oh, do they make bats too? Like, I have the same name. Yeah, so 20-foot ladder, Louisville brand. It's one of those, like, extendo, extendo pieces. And, um, what color is it? Aluminum, Silver. yeah. Like, the, the, the that raw aluminum color. Yeah, aluminum. Aluminium for a slick like Nixon. No. Cameron says, when you guys get back, I'm sending you some of my shirts I screen print. Hell Sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would wear the fuck out of that. Make sure it's fucking 7XL, dude. Yeah, cut the sleeves off mine. <laughs> Send me a big, 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 big one. 4XL fits me comfortably, so. I like slick. Chinese sizes? Cameron says, uh, oh yeah, he said that. Slick says, when, uh. Where can I get a cool water bottle like that old English 800? It actually says old British <laughs> 600. 600. It's a fake sticker. Um, it's a real sticker. It's a real sticker, but it's a fake brand. Like in Hollywood, when you make movies, you can't have those brands, so sometimes they'll put fake ass uh, stickers on there. And so someone gave this to me, and I just put it on an algae. And so it looks like a. Uh, Shit. Branded. Huh? Like yeah, it actually looks legit, you know. Yeah. Camera says, "What size do you want?" I would fuck with a medium. Four X, five X. Yeah, I wear large, extra large. Triple X. And Carly just says, "Wow, the ladder is freaking collector's item. You should have left it in the package." Yeah, I wonder. Used. I wonder if uh, we can find it like on Discogs or something. Uh, Bree says, "How's everybody's day?" Mine. I'll start it off. Mine was pretty good. There we go. There's some love. There, I can feel it now in my heart, my soul. I can feel the love right now. Hell yeah, Carly. Mommy. 420. I love you, Mommy. So, do a dab. so Carly G is Mommy. Do a dab. And then Bree is Bree Nana. Is that what you were saying yesterday, Bree? You were saying Nana's coming? And you're Nana? <laughs> Nana. Um, I went to Compton today with Patty and Davey. And we went to Mom's Burger, and I have, I've been wanting to go there for years. I uh, never really had the time because it's pretty. It took us, you know, a good the torch, my man. good three hours trip to go there and back. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. that was traffic. And, uh, yeah, it's all and it's all the way out in Compton, all the way out there. It's for real. And I went out there. It was the best burger I've ever had in the state of California. I'm telling you, I liked it more than In and Out or any other burger I've ever had down here. I had it with bacon and egg. I want full. What was chronic. it called? Yeah, Mom's chronic, chronic Burger. Mom's Chronic. Burger. I didn't get a Junior Chronic Burger. I, didn't, I told Pat I didn't come down here to fuck around. <laughs> I didn't come all the way out here. I just dragged myself out of the, out of the studio. Uh, video game ha that. Haven. Uh, it's on the yes. right there. Yeah. Red cap. Uh, to uh, to not get the the, the the regular size. The real size. And uh, I will tell you right now, they got the bomb fries. Only problem is they don't got really much to dip it in. And they give you way too many fries than any kind of ketchup packets you could ever deal with. Yeah. So it's kind of like, you kind of have all these dry fries that you just kind of end up sharing. So that's kind of good, actually. Because that means I didn't eat a whole fucking, like, fist of fries. Yeah. It was more, it was like double fist of fries. Fist of fries. Uh, fist of fries. Rebake says, it's pronounced like Grandma, Grandma Nana. Grandma Nana. So that makes sense. Is that a whole bunch of wax? Box. Cameron says, you know it's slick. Box of wax. Na my Nana. Well, it's just this now. <laughs> That's not bad. It's still a lot of wax. It's still a lot of wax. We'd be we'd be very happy with that if that was the only thing. Based on what? <laughs> oh yeah. This who gave us this would be fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd still be like, Hurry! dude, if it was just like this bit right, like this bit right here, yeah, like damn, sure. hell yeah. <laughs> if, we were was... if we were on tour, I'd be happy for fucking yeah. that little, yeah, like that, that little you know? bit. Thank you. Dude, how are we gonna do this? All right. Yeah, that's no. It's not the biggest <laughs> I've ever seen now, but before. No, the biggest slab I'd ever seen was the one that he gave yeah. us, the Jesse gave us. Nana. Read this. L O no, uh, N Anna like banana. 
Nana? What? Yeah, she was Nana. Nana. Like you, like you call your grandma Nana. 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 <laughs> Ricky, where do you get that? Where did I get the what? Oh, this my cousin, my or my godbrother. He got it from his cousin. Some Italian shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so look like they says this would get me high for weeks. It's got me high. Don't worry months. about it. So, the, it. If it was just me smoking it, it would be getting me high for like a, probably all, close to a year, I think. Uh, but we, would, <laughs> I would like being really generous with it, and yeah, we were doing a lot. We got it what in like December, November, December, <coughs> November, December, December, March. and it's March. And we'll have Why it to, like, for bomb? sure. <laughs> That's a long time. That's a five five month <laughs> slab, four or five month slab. It's been going. Yeah. I remember I showed all the guys in, in Mild High Club and King Gizzard in the green room. I was like, oh my god, you guys, come look at the size of this. They're like, what is that? It was like, it's THC concentrate, dude. You like, is that, that a lot? I was like, That's a, the biggest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, I do that. I miss, yeah, I miss the Mile High Club dude so much. <laughs> Guys, somebody sponsor Fuggle for a dab. We're going to give it to him, and somebody shout Fuggle out. Uh, actually, uh, fucking, uh, I saw the Matt posted these like, after that breakfast, and it was like an espresso. And yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's and then cool. I was like, hell yeah. And he's like, he said, he said, he showed me back in love. It was sent, sent me a really nice message. <laughs> um, you're going to go to so get the. All right, you need a card. Do you have your PayPal card? Yeah. I have it. Oh, yeah. Isaac has my PayPal card. Dude, sometime we should uh, just get a bunch of McDonald's from up the street and uh, Grand make, our, make our own sauce and just put that on our extra and then rewrap them in nice white or black or <laughs> paper, put a stamp on it, and sell them for $2. Yeah. <laughs> We're turning a profit. And it's just McDonald's with our own sauce on it, so it's probably not what you're looking for. But mm. Now we do have burgers. Yeah. <coughs> no, dude, oh, yeah. it's so funny. This guy came in earlier. This like big dude, an older guy, and uh, he was like uh, looking for jazz CDs. And uh, he's like, "How long have you guys been here?" And I was like, three years this month." And he's like, "What? I've been up the street a thousand times. Never saw you." I was like, "It doesn't say burger up here." Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hey. Four twenty from Canada. Cam Cam. There you go. Our Cam. Bam! Cameron man! Mmm, mmm, mmm! Carly Juice and I accidentally ate dairy today for the first time in like five Ooh. years. I was in pain for hours. What was the accident like? You like, there was a little bit of dairy on a sandwich or something you didn't know about? Yeah. I, 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 we have a friend, I won't say who he is, but he's kind of like, reminds me of like Dopey Dog or something like that, or like kind of like, huh? Huh? And uh, he uh, tells a story. He's a vegetarian, and he was working on a ship or something. And uh, these fools made a pizza. They're like, "Dude, we made you some vegetarian pizza, and it, like with like cheese on the top." He's like, "Sick." He's like, "Dude, why is this like the best pizza I've ever had in my life?" And then they had put pepperoni under the cheese. Oh no, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's mean. It's really mean. He was like, "Yeah, it was mean, but at the same time, it was really good. It was really good." So I'm kind of glad that. That's awesome. That is so funny. You know, I camera got, camera got you, fungal. I remember. Your dad, bro. I remember when Crux was vegetarian. When he broke, it was pepperoni pizza too. Pizza the one on purpose. Now, yeah. he, now he's not vegetarian at all. No way. Hell yeah! I remember when that happened. <coughs> it was like back in the, not that long. Yeah. It was, well, it was like when we went to South by the first when Boom went to South by the first. Hey, Cam. time. Tor will do that, man. Tor and hard, any kind of food diet you got going on. Yeah, yeah, especially uh. <coughs> I had a short stand of vegetarianism, and when we went to Europe, it was just impossible. Yeah. And not not just not just like you could find vegetarian stuff, but all the meals and people were like, "You guys aren't vegetarian, right? That would be fucked up. You guys would be lame." Like, and it's like, "Yeah, I'll eat your fucking meat." And what, what am I gonna do? Be like, "No, I don't want your like regional beautiful culinary dish." Yeah, <laughs> I want. I actually really. Want <laughs> I do it. really want it. I guess. That's, that's what I've always said. Is like anytime I'm vegetarian, I'm like I'm not vegetarian. I'm just trying not to eat meat. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> uh, <coughs> give myself any like label rules no me neither um guys thank you for fucking shooting donate donations let's keep that going guys let's show some love 
Uh, I'm yes, going to do please. a dab, and let's start getting into the meat of the show. Yeah. We can't speak of which. This we is have a, a very public society here, but we need to talk about some secret societies. Yeah, today's yes. topic definitely is secret societies. I know Duffy knows quite a bit, quite, you know, quite a bit about yeah. um, <laughs> certain things. Duffy hangs out with what he says. Yeah, he goes to this, I was researching one, and he was saying he goes to the I church. Believe him. Yeah. I believe him. I'll, uh, I'll Duffy tell. Duffy hasn't lied to me yet, so. I'll tell an interesting little story. All right. Um. Uh, I guess I'll just do it right now. Uh, Fred Meyer, the uh, retailer. I thought you were something about Fred Durst's movie. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Tell that okay. story, too. First of all, Variety, Variety <laughs> has reported, like, three or four hours ago now, that Fred Durst <laughs> is making a movie with John Travolta, where John Travolta Whoa. plays Fred Durst. And can I say the best part? Yeah. It's a thrill. And it's a thrill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. And I just can't wait. I'm down. I'm fucking... It's, oh, yeah. It was... It made my heart stop for a second. I was uh, like, this is fake, and I looked it up. These are the kind of things that make me uplift my soul, my spirit. <laughs> yeah. And actually, in the in the headline image... that outside? It sounded like that. It did sound like something. Oh, I'll check it out real quick. Yeah, I'll check it out. I'll tell my story in a little while. Yeah. It's... <clears throat> All right. Oh, so, I'm um... Sure you were say Fred... Uh, I'm talking about Fred Meyer. Fred Meyer, oh yeah. Fred Meyer. Fred Meyer was, uh, is, uh, Fred Duffy lives in Portland, so he's still going for Fred Meyer probably, but, uh, Fred oh, yeah, Meyer, was there earlier. Fred Meyer is, uh, was yeah, my was childhood store. I even worked there for a short time yeah, through high school. Did. Oh, yeah. In the can recycling. Uh, 148th in division. Yeah, right across <laughs> from the Carl Jr. At my, at my deep, old church. Deep East. Oh, yeah. L- Lynchwood? <laughs> is that the name of that neighborhood? That's further out, huh? Way out there. <laughs> I wonder where the, how they came up with that name. So. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, see yeah, I just go down the lynch tags all over up there. Yeah. <laughs> Seems kind of weird. <laughs> you um, know that tree? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Man. Yeah, but Fred Meyer, he's a retailer. He made a lot of money because he, he was one of the first people to make a uh, department store where there's like, <laughs> you go to Target and there's a bunch of different stuff. Fred Meyer was one of the first stores in, in the world to do that. Yeah. And, uh, I had to get all my CDs in the electronic department. Yeah, and they started doing it in the 50s. He just actually had a really crazy thing. Like, he, like, he figured out to put stores in, in um, suburban areas because he realized all these people were getting tickets. And he was, like, he was, like, paid all the people's tickets so he could get that, their addresses and, like, just put it on a map. And he was, like, I need to build a store right here. And that's what he did. Hmm. That's when he put it on the Hmm. <coughs> Interesting. <laughs> but anyway, he was, uh, he... Left Chicago when he was 17. Then a few years of his life are unaccounted for. They don't know what happened to it, where he went, or where. But he ended, he left on foot, and he ended up okay. in Portland, uh, where he decided to go north for the gold rush. Uh, but there was no gold rush. <laughs> it was all gone. It was all gone. He came back down to Seattle, where as a young man he got tight with these secret societies. And then, after a few years of that, he came down and started his mega retail operation. Yep. And became a very powerful person, I imagine. With his name all over huge stores all over the Northwest still, you know? Yeah? Yeah, oh yeah. Spank the like button, guys. So there you go. Um, yeah. Is that what all? Did he, did he watch? <clears throat> we got 17 watching. 10 likes. He took that, did he take that trail, that one that Tess was talking about? <laughs> yeah, maybe so. It was like from like Canada to Mexico? Yeah, that everything I read, they said they didn't. No one, no one knew. Everyone was like, it's un- huh. he didn't talk about it. No one knew what happened. That reminds me of there's going to be like a BBC documentary where they found like historical records of this real Buddhist monk that was born in Israel, and they think it might have been Jesus. Well, the dude, like, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Here we go. I I feel like I've seen this before. I feel like there was a, sp- a Fox special when they found the the cloth. <laughs> His that like supposedly too. rested on his face, you know, and oh, then yeah, they. Oh yeah, got a touring. They have that in Alamogordo. <coughs> oh, no, no, it's not in Alamogordo. There's just randomly a, a shroud of touring museum in Alamogordo, New Mexico, by the White Sands National Monument. Yeah, but it was so funny too, cause like they made like a 3D image based on like. Uh, Three, based on the sweat pattern and what he would look yeah. like, you know, and he was totally like a Middle Eastern. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was just like who. Yeah. The Jesus, the Shroud of Turin, or whatever. Oh. The Shroud of Turin. Or maybe Turin. it's fucking... It's just some fool. It's just some guy. Yeah. Yeah. Dave. Uh, all right, anyways, uh, let's, let's get into this. Are you ready, Duffy? 
Oh, yeah. Let's start with the Bilderbergs. Okay. Oh, man. Do you know about this? Uh, yeah. You know about this? Yeah. Do you know about this, Well, Duffy? there's a lot of old white people that run the world, basically. Yeah, so... A lot of them. That's what I'm looking at us right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, so basically, let me. No, I'll give you. Scary. I'll give you the. Uh, yeah, the queen is yeah. looking over there. The basic rundown of the Bilderberg um, meetings or group, part. if you don't know about it, um, it was basically a group that was brought um, that was put together, in um, heads of politics, yeah. heads of <laughs> heads of there. finance and industry, and they were trying to bring North America and Europe more together. You know, like con control it all at once, right? Yeah, one and, market. Yeah, and 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 like their, you know, their 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 whole thing was we want to create the one world government because it would just be better for humanity if if it was just one thing and we weren't separated by it's things a like to join the federation in Star Trek. You yeah. have to you have to have a world government. Yeah, exactly. So it it's 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 basically this meeting that happens. I think they have it they have it once a year and it's basically a place where the, the the biggest and 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 the most powerful heads of politics, finance, industry, and like media media moguls, you know, the heads of NBC and stuff like this, they all go and they talk about what what's up in the world. You know what I mean? And so they can exploit it. So they, they can exploit it. That's where they plan it. <clears throat> and they that's you get like, your permit to have your nine eleven and you know. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. And so you go know, ahead to oh, evade such and such. So, <laughs> so there's there's people, you know, like I'm sure they're inviting like Zuckerberg to this now. You know what I mean? And and exactly. so it, it's an act. It's a secret society in the sense that we don't really know what they talk about. But it's not so secret that we don't know that that it happens. You know what I mean? But oh, these rather, Kim raid. On Kim raid. Uh oh, what's up, Kim? Good to see oh, you. She's raiding on the party five. Very good. <laughs> I love that show. show. Party yeah, that was uh, <laughs> Ned Campbell and. Um, was it a good show? Uh, I don't. It, the the premise was that the parents died. And there was yeah. like a family, uh, like the kid, there were five kids. Five, yeah, and there were the parties. Five. That's yeah, right. and it was like 15 or 16 to like three or four. So it was like five what? kids that didn't have parents anymore. What was struggling. that Struggling. Uh, Is that on the WB? Time. That was on Fox, I think. Uh, Miss <laughs> Kimberly says, hey guys, how are you? We're great. Having a great one. May I push them, uh, pushing a little harder for donations and for uh, sales than usual because kind of uh, slipping on it last uh, few months. We used to get a we used to get a good amount on this show. We used to yeah. break a hundred on the show quite often, yeah. and uh, for some reason that has slipped quite a lot. But we've been having some cool little donations as we've been going, so it's not too bad. Uh, hope you're doing good out there too. Uh, we're talking about secret societies yes, tonight. Yes, we're yeah, talking the Bilderberg right the now. The Bilderberg uh, meetings, uh, yeah, to be the... specific, right now. Yep. Um, Where was it? That was like so... in the Bahamas and or or Miami or something where they. We're meeting up. Well, so the first time they ever met was in the Netherlands at the Bilderberg Hotel. Interesting. Right? And so it was, that? that was in 1854. And that was like the heads of states in all in, of Europe. Where in the Netherlands is that? Is that a town it's, Bilderberg? There, no, no. That's the hotel. I, I don't remember the name of the town. But um, it's the name of the hotel. Some ass food, though. Yeah. yeah, some croquettes, maybe. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so they met there, and that's where it started. And then they have it a different place every yeah, year. Yeah. And apparently the security is so crazy um, for for their meetings. There's no fly it's zone. Scary. They have military scary personnel, yeah. like um, like cell block blocking <laughs> cell signals and shit. Like it's crazy because you're not supposed to talk about what goes on in there. Yeah. But when you're in there, you're you're supposed supposedly free to talk about whatever you want. So there's all these really powerful men in in a room together, <laughs> just like being any, like, how can we, you know. How, how can we get this going? How can we, because uh, that it, it, you know they might con that might be the, the the thing that controls our our world. You know what I mean, yeah. or the whole core. And so like, you know they'll do things like like orchestrate wars between countries because it will mean profits for certain people, and then it will keep people docile as well. Like you, can get right, rid you of can't certain other you can't that step way up, yeah. you know, to to this shit. Like you just gotta. So it's crazy, and and like it's 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 literally like the, the most powerful people in in each of their respected industries coming together, the richest people as well, um, I believe, and you know they'll do the things like rig elections, um, 
Make weed illegal. <clears throat> Make weed illegal is a great one. One thing I wrote down: eliminate middle class to create master slave society. Yeah. And you, that's that's definitely something that is that is happening more and more each day. Whoa. You know they um, created reality TV. They yeah. yeah that's part of the it was that, just like one day that goes back that kind of goes back to um. See they're the trying to mind control us to not play <laughs> End of the World. But yeah. Why do we keep forgetting to play End of the World when we practice? Yeah. There's they like don't. a bunch of stoned MTV True. executives, I think. I hope so, because, um, you know, we, last week was Mind Control, and um, that goes, <laughs> like, the reality TV and, and the Bilderbergs creating reality TV, that makes sense, because it is just uh, a way to manipulate, you know, subconsciously. Yeah, it's crazy. Decide, you know? Carly, <laughs> one of them, she says, make me, Daddy, make me spank it. The like button? Spank the like button. Spank yeah, it. Do it. Make me daddy. Spank it. Well, wait. I'm naughty. Spank it. You're not going to get any dessert. Got all kinds of tapioca, <laughs> rice pudding, and uh, chocolate pudding, and banana pudding. And pudding Milkshakes. Pudding, pudding. It's not pudding. And a little bit of blackberry cobbler you can reheat in the microwave. I don't actually have a microwave, though. So, so, <laughs> so, so, the oh, world more. is set up. Pretty fucked up. Yeah. But also, yeah. if you look at the bigger picture, no, I'm so stoned. <laughs> um, if you look at the big, like, some shit's going right. So there's like the yeah. ebb and flow there. The one world, like the human, the like the real human spirit is right. The, I like, would be fucking people down. Are doing would I mean, well, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about when, when, like, when it's like. Bilderberg's kind yeah, of a weird one, man. He's just, just a <laughs> weird group of people. And they are just heads of it, captains of industry. If you will. Yeah. Yeah. And they get high like this, and they decide shit. <coughs> oh my god. And security like that, they've got to have a good one. They get high crazy, rich people government drugs. They turn you into yeah. Superman for a few months. Rob Child tap the best cocaine, I bet. I'm sure. I'm sure it's like... Straight from the source. <coughs> yeah. From God, they, man. Oh, oh fuck. <coughs> <coughs> Straight from God. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, is God there? What if that's what's going on? There's like a big alien God, and he's like, ah, I've sent my son. <laughs> like, yeah, call me, that's a thousand years. I need to go. He teleports in. Well, they got part of it, right? Mm. Yeah. He He's wasn't totally a person. Human. <coughs> not really even like another species. Yeah, computer programmer. He's ancient Mayan breakaway civilization or something. Yeah, dude. So the Bilderbergs, the Bilderberg group, it's um, not so much of a society, but definitely a group, a conspiracy, if you will. Yeah. A bunch of men conspiring to uh, to do whatever. They can trade information freely in there, you know? Yeah. So if, if you're like some sort of stockbroker rich rich type bull like that and you're at yeah. that meeting you're gonna know yeah what to fucking sell and buy next year yeah. and you're gonna get even more rich you yeah. know <clears throat> but that's not like, even oh shit i should buy a bunch of steel beams <laughs> <laughs> what kind of weird shit Se they jet they fuel sell <laughs> sell <laughs> right oh, like, they're like you know what this year you have permission to use that rocket that can land like, that was just, like, a couple of years ago. I don't know, I'm suspicious of anybody trying to keep me out of, out of space, you know? Yeah, well... Who am I up to? <laughs> it says Build-A-Bear is so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Build-A-Bear like is. It's, like, it's unreasonably... It's, like, damn. Yeah, I do love whoever I'm getting this for that much, but, like, not nah, not that much. I've never done build a -Bear I've never though. done it either. Uh -huh. All I know is that that's what, like, all my little cousins, like, the little girl cousins would get for, for Christmas. I bet and there is yeah. microphones in those bears. bears. Yeah. <laughs> Why? They should make build a True. computer. That'd be sick. And then also, eventually it became, like, you just get the Build-A-Bear gift card, and they'd be always screaming out, like, what are they talking about? Like, oh, they're going to get the build the build a bear to build yeah. a bear. That's the fun part. <laughs> you don't want the bear. You want the experience. Of like seeing it like Oh, I want the bear. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna see it stuffed. Mm. Stuff that bear so stuffy. Man, can you guys imagine what computers are gonna be like in a hundred years? Damn, imagine what? what they're gonna be like next year, <laughs> yeah. dude. 
People are gonna be like, Back dude, there's gonna be like, always on the verge of something. They're gonna have like personal supercomputers. People are gonna have, like it's gonna be like Star Wars shit. I thought you were gonna say so personal soup. I was like, hell right? yeah, I could so fuck with that. Personal soup, thank you. Computerized life hacked into the system. So um yeah, Duffy, do you have um any other insights on the um the, the these Bilderberg meeting type shit? <laughs> Um, I was actually just trying to pull up some information on that. There you go. Because, yeah. um, you know, it's just like the that start. Just died in my hand. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> it's 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 one of these ones that's pretty, it's common knowledge that these, these meetings happen. But what's fishy is what goes on during these things. And, and they, they're not allowed to talk about anything that happened there. And so because of that sh level oh, yeah. of secrecy, knows. people, uh, really you know, people could only... To suspect whatever whatever their their imagination is you know yeah i'm actually on the wikipedia for them right now throw in a donation if you think the bilderberg meeting is crazy <coughs> fucked up they're probably watching us right now they got those google alerts yeah or you they guys, man. make it watch the later day, if it felt like it yeah <laughs> on youtube too yeah. fast food uh -huh. and i found a wire <coughs> Somebody had actually wired under my seat. There was a small Android device. No. I said, dead serious. I still have it. Shut the fuck no up. No way. It only has a 30-hour battery life. And I'm like, who the fuck? Was somebody's, like, private eye following me? Damn. Like, who did this? No I way. have no idea. Somebody listened to me for, like, 30 hours, probably, in my car. No way. That's Where is it? Well, Show me this. The thing that was on in my car for that long, I imagine. It's fucking broken. <laughs> fucking weird, right? It's a GPS tracker, too. Do you still have it? But we're getting there, guys. We're doing this right. <laughs> did I get sick? No, did you... Do you still have the tracker, tracking device? Yeah, no, I do. I, was, I think it's in my backpack. Hold on, where is that? All right, what is this thing? <laughs> what is this? Um, so it's called um, an Android Mini A8. If anybody wants to look it up, I have to find it. It's just in my backpack, like loose. Or wait, did I put it? Man, I put it somewhere stupid. I'm thinking. I have it. I have pictures of it too. But you can look it up. It's a it's a mini A8. No idea. They cost like 15 bucks apparently. Huh. And yeah. it's a little black box with a little green Android dude on it. And then it just sends information back to the. With uh, just a SIM card. That's like all. All that's really in it: a <clears> microphone <throat> and a GPS tracker. But it's not a very. It's not a real GPS. Um, it just gives out cell phone tower information for what you're standing around. Yeah. But I'm sure that's enough. Yeah, yeah. Cool. You can tell somebody's like in the mall, but you don't know like where. That's so, fucked up. Or they're up. within the vicinity of the mall. Yeah, people would make that shit for sure. Oh, they do. Um, they make I'll all that it. shit, Hold dude. On, I'll have it here somewhere. All right. Um, we could probably figure out how to make some shit like that. Might be in my coat, dude. Hold on. Yeah, I'm sure we could if we wanted to become private eyes. That would be a pretty good thing oh, to yeah. do, too. <laughs> Wasn't Bobby doing that for a bit? Maybe he yeah, I think he did. He, he was could, thinking about it. Maybe he could help us out start. Uh, what if he's like, don't go down that road, I <laughs> Trust me, I looked that beast in the eyes. <laughs> You don't want to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It seems all right. It seems pretty chill. Congratulations, Bobby Harlow. He's got two beautiful children now. He's father of two. two oh, now. good for him. Yeah. Very good. I haven't spoken to him a while. <clears throat> I want to give him a call. All right. Hell yeah. I'll find it. <laughs> You're looking for it still? I'll still. I'll find it eventually. It'll just come to me, man. It'll be funny. Be like, oh, it's in my pocket. Like, I'll just know. I don't remember where I put it. It's you okay. want to see the picture, I'll send you all the picture. No, we can look it up. We'll look it up. And I'll find it. <laughs> Here, they put it somewhere, though. It was, like, it was wedged, like, under my seat in the frame. Like, and I was just, like, picking out, like, a McDonald's wrapper. And it had gotten, like, wrapped around, like, the bottom of, like, the metal part of the seat there. And I like, pulled it like a little hard, and this box fell out. And I was like, oh, no, what did I do? And I looked at it, and I was like, Android. And I looked up what it was, and I was like, no, shit. I have no idea why anybody would want to do this, but it's on.
All right, man. Well, they're coming for us, man. Watch out. <laughs> we, we fucked got, up. We, we got, got talked about something. Funkle, we, we gotta got check our shit, right man. Yeah. We gotta check. We gotta check everything. Well, oh, you guys have microphones. Well, that's the thing, though. I mean, there was already three microphones I knew about in my car. Somebody wants to listen to me, right? Like, I have an iPhone, then I have another iPhone that's just not hooked up. So I don't have to waste my real phone battery when I'm, like, on Wi-Fi. We got the whole Nartaste network set up. There's all... Exactly. I got, there's computers with, with fucking microphones and cameras and shit attached all up it in this all over. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, they can listen to you wherever you are, whenever they want, but some true. random individual decided they were going to listen to me. That's why I took Private Eye. There's like some noir movie going on just outside my field of vision. Yeah. And I've somehow edged on its turf, man. That sucks. Let's push it back. Will Duffy get assassinated? I don't know. I think Duffy's going to be all right. I think it'll be all right, Duffy. Patty's back. With the Mac. You guys know my secret Patty's identity? Back. <laughs> With the Mac. What is that? Patty's back. You're talking With about the, the right Mac. subject. Patty? What is that? This is crazy. What are you filming? The what? This is my Mac. Oh. Facial what recognition is... software sees you everywhere you go. You put this on and a hood up, man, people don't even notice. And if they do, they don't look at you for long. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, dude. You know who that is? No. David Rockefeller. Oh, uh, yeah. Ugh. So I figure, like, they see me on, like, it's you know, like, you the ATM camera. I got a hash brown. Like, Sir, Mr. Rockefeller's walking around. You know? Um, human says someone might have been stalking you, Duffy. I yeah, mean, I would assume... Well, whatever. I would assume it'd be the other way, but... <laughs> my Android, so somebody's at least... Yeah. All right. Well, let's get back into this. Um... Secret Society. Yeah, last yeah. thoughts on the Bilderberg group. Did they invent Bilderberg? Hmm. Yeah, Bilderberg. probably, man. They're like, ha, huh. get it? Do you think they authorized that? Yeah. Yeah, that was probably their idea. It sounded enough like the <laughs> name of their company. They're like, take them out. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is this Bilderberg? Freeze! It's, it's, it was probably their idea, like, too. Like, they can only Put be in... the fucking bear! <laughs> they can only be in malls. <laughs> Hey, you! <laughs> Bear yeah. fucker! What's the next secret society? All right, so let's move on. Duffy, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, what's next? So we're we're going to talk about the Illuminati. Ooh, Bavaria. The Bavarian Illuminati, like the original. Some say, I guess, the counter original. Hell yeah. Well, you know, it's like, didn't they all allegedly get, like, executed or something? In jail? Something? Yeah. Right. Thanks, Patty. Yes, um, they did, I love and you know, like they they had to go way way secret, way 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 secret. I saw yeah, that's this. What I yeah, that's it. That's it. That's what happened. I saw this really crazy documentary. It had Tom Hanks in it. <laughs> it was called uh, Forrest Gump. <laughs> the Da Vinci Code. I never and, saw that. Uh, yeah. It had a lot of yeah, it had a lot of stuff in, in it. Opus Day. They're a secret society. <laughs> They're a weird one too. They all like whip themselves and shit, right? Yeah. Weird like Yeah, cult, God, cults man. count as secret societies. Yeah. Kid, for sure. Because and uh religions like dude, there's hella secrets. That's the crazy thing too, is like re the religious leaders and in being involved in the building bridge is like, what is all that shit? What are they up to with their trickery? Yeah. It's crazy. Secret space program. Yeah, yeah. That's part that's probably a part of it too, you know? They're making a lot Let's of get money. The fuck off. Let's make a ton <laughs> of of money. Resources. Use Let's let all the poor people you. die on Earth when it's <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There you go. That that's what it's sounding we'll like. We'll just go. We'll just go then and they can have it. Brought to you by McDonald's. I'm <laughs> loving it. Hell yeah. So I have a bit. Oh, I loved it. I loved my uh -huh. coffee this morning too, dude. They were uh, that Mc McCafe. You had a McCafe today? Oh yeah. Very good. I you love. You're driving early enough. It's cheap. Yeah, I love that that you're getting down on that. Jimmy likes those too. Hell yeah, Jimmy. <clears throat> he knows. <laughs> uh, but let me do a quick rundown. Uh, is it from Wikipedia basically? So their whole thing was. Um, 
<clears throat> they're coming up in, in 1776. The church is pretty big, I guess, at this point. <clears throat> and their whole their whole thing was, like, they opposed superstitious shit. So, like, no, like, magic, like, yeah. shit like that. Right. Religious stuff. Um, especially if they were using it to, like, control people. Because that's, like, another, like, out in public secret society yeah. where, like, the church, yeah. like, controls people through through, like crazy certain means and they don't talk about what goes on in certain parts yeah. of their shit you know um and then the other thing the illuminati was was against was the abuse right. of um the, the state or the power that if the, from the state you know if the state's taking advantage of people or they feel it's unjust they're not they're not about that you know but a lot of the members right. were right. very affluent people basically like be, be people first <clears throat> real people yeah don't be a dick don't don't be a dick, um, and and we could we could all we could all do this together. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. That's and um, and so <clears throat> the theory is like they 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 are in such a, a powerful position that they they also control have control of of the sway and mentality of society and people in general. You know what I mean? So. When you talk Illuminati, you're talking like Jay Z doing the thing, you know. You're talking he like know. he is. Yeah, that's the, that's yeah. the thing, you know. Like he's doing the the eye. He does the eye. Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> and like doing the research for this too, I've seen, dude, I've seen tons of these videos that are like I sold my like different rappers and, and artists being like I sold I sold my soul to Jay Z. I sold my soul to Puffy. <laughs> I sold my soul. We had to sacrifice someone with Puffy. Or yeah. Like, dude, this crazy ass shit. And I'm like, damn, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm not like, I'm just saying, like, without <laughs> being a thing, you know, it's like, wow, okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's yeah. there's that aspect to it. And, and yeah, the Illuminati. Crazy, Lumin dude. Black magic, kind of. You know, in the Illuminati, it's just like, it, 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 people, people are initiated and invited and so the succession, the line, the lineage just keeps happening. You know what I mean? With with whoever has that 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 part of that power, the the Illuminati's gonna be like, dude, we're gonna we're gonna get you in on our shit. And they have to play play ball with with them. You yeah. Know? Because they're the business is controlling controlling people to keep them like good and yeah. orderly. You know what I mean? It's yeah, crazy. and then conditioned, institutionalized. Yeah, that, I mean, it makes makes sense from a business perspective for sure. Yes, I love. Man, that's love some it. crazy shit. Some people like really are just running the world for business. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Ah, uh, Bilderberg. Yeah, I run. We just run the world. <laughs> yeah, we and manipulate all of you. We get together and we party, and we don't even talk about anything. There's actually no talking role for most of it. Whoa. Hmm. Imagine they yeah. just party. You yeah. have to communicate through the art of partying without verbalizing. They give you an instrument. Now jam. <laughs> jam. Oh, all, the, all the world leaders and like, like, like top, top scientists and like religious leaders are like, like they go into this big room and like all the like <laughs> <laughs> keyboards and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Human no, says Jay Z yeah. confirm, yeah. Carly just maybe it's just one of my crazy hunches, but sometimes I feel like they're recording you guys every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday night. <laughs> Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know what she's getting at. Saturday. Saturday. Spend all day with you. you. <laughs> um so hell yeah. So the Illuminati, you know, it's like control. They're trying to control you and they're good at that. And like, if you're stepping out of line, like they're they're credited with like JFK. They're credited with gasoline. Like, Tupac. Well, like some people think this, not credited, but like some people think, yeah, gasoline. They killed Michael Jackson. They killed Tupac. Like and it's just like they have they have some some you know it's an ancient order too, so they know some crazy shit and they know how to get it done like. That oh, is yeah. fucking double quarter pounder. That is crazy. It's fucking huge. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yes. Double quarter pounder. That fucking is That is so much fucking meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, one of the things about the Illuminati, their 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 main symbol, their main emblem their main symbol, yeah, is the owl of Minerva, right, Duffy? <laughs> mm -hmm. And 
and and you know the owl that 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 type of imagery is found like in in other other types of secret societies like um, the, the Bohemian Grove thing. Coming back to that, they they pray oh, to so a big weird, isn't it? they pray to a big owl, right? Okay, so like you have like this view of the world, you know, it's like what you're fed on television. <laughs> but they want you to believe, and you get high and you think about this kind of thing, and then you like go home at night and think you must be like a little off, maybe or whatever. But no, really, like they all get together and, and pretend to do a, a big human sacrifice to a giant flaming owl. Yeah. In the woods, and I've seen video of it. That's like, those are some weird people to have out there doing that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, like, that's like creepy enough. Like that's. You think that was like a big like, like the, he's their friend or something, and they just like pretend that's real. <clears throat> you know, <talk> people, man. <laughs> They probably just don't play any video games. Yeah. Right? It's probably just fun. That's well, like, the world is their video that. games. Yeah. That's, like, the thing. But it's video games. Fuck that. Rich people How they control the world. <laughs> that's what they do. They're, like, yeah, playing... They do what they want. They're, like, playing like, Sim World. Or like, they sent Martin Shkreli to jail, though, right? That yeah. dude who bought that... Oh, no, he just got... Or I thought he just got sued for a bunch of money. He's an asshole. Then they make him give oh, back the Wu Tang yeah. album. That dude's what got he problems. Wu Tang, he claims to have unreleased. He's bought the, the rights to unreleased Nirvana music. Huh? Really? Uh, weird shit like that. You know, like he's just like an Martin asshole. Martin Shkreli, like, oh, yeah, disgraced uh, and piece of shit. Everybody hates Pharma bro. That weird eccentric pharmaceutical dude who fucking <laughs> made the uh, price of the AIDS medicine like hella more expensive, and then. Yep. He's a fucking dick. Now he's in jail. Is he really he in jail? I thought he just got sued for a bunch of money. Yeah, he bought that Wu-Tang album. He's the one. The one yeah. guy with that one Wu-Tang album. Yeah, yeah. No, I think he, he sold it. I think he sold it. <clears throat> I think the courts made him give it up. Hmm. I'm serious. I think that's what happened. <laughs> I just said, I ain't fucking with anybody who don't believe in magic. Mm-hmm. So there oh, you go. Illuminati is out for ouches. Mm-hmm. Fuck, fuck Illuminati. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Carly G says, I'm in the Illuminati. Oh. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I am. I sent away for like their little like um, comic book magazine necklace. And the then, I, I'm serious. I gave it to somebody though because, you know, it's supposed to be their membership necklace. Yeah. The stain, on that, the stain on that top kind of looks like some like people getting it on. <laughs> like sideways? Yeah. Yeah. I see like, it's a lot of eccentric people. I see it. Oh my god. Um, this made me laugh. Human said, Is that a secret society referring to the Illum- Illuminati? Illuminati? And Carly G says, It's for naughty mommies only. Ooh. <laughs> I should read more. Shit's funny. And he's going to jail for 10 years. Damn. He's gonna get fucked yeah, he's up. So screwed. Oh man, that's. Hey, I, I can't man, he, this on he sucks, I guess. So, so he's, Dude, he's gonna get he's gonna get out. what's coming to him. Yeah, oh yeah, he is. This, he's gonna get it like a, like an actual Hollywood movie. You know, he's like the the bad guy who goes to jail at the end. Yeah. That's like his future. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> fired. <laughs> You hear about how Jared Polo got beat up in prison recently? No. They kicked his ass. And do you hear why? Do you what? Do you want to tell the Yosemite Bible? Huh? Do you, you want to tell the Yosemite? Uh, I wasn't really paying attention to what. Jared Polo apparently is like... Oh, yeah. He's all his money in jail and is like... God, hang, uh... Hang out the pedos and is like hanging out with them. They're all like... Hang out with him and like... That's not tight. That's not tight, Patty. <laughs> 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 And so the guy was yeah, like, sick of him showboating and showing off all his wealth and stuff, so the guy, so the guy beat him up for it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he got... And then he... really about anything else other than he was, like, stop Because he was being yeah. an asshole? Yeah. And I guess he said, like, it was, like, for those... It's for those people and families in the... Well... <laughs> and Subway said... <laughs> Mate... <laughs> Dude, <laughs> well... That's not our guy anymore. Uh, <laughs> we didn't know about that. Sorry. You know, they have to authorize Don't that. Don't mess with our good, good game. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't reflect the freshness of our $12 uh, foot long premium $5. subs. Yeah. Oh, Subway. 
We should make Subway's a. Right, man. We should write a play about Subway or like a musical. Subway. Play. <laughs> Wait, did you guys work at the one on Airport Way? Uh huh. <laughs> oh God, that place is full of fucking crackheads. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm over there all the time. Yeah, that place is so it. ridiculous. <laughs> that that one oh my Wingy's Corner or whatever. Yeah, 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 dude. Oh my God, that fucking place. <laughs> Oh uh, man, I know a thing or two about that place. That place is funny <laughs> shit. Yeah. That's just uh, It's a party, dude. Right, no, it's really not. It's, it really is just yeah. like a bunch of crackheads that live in the motels that go from like motel to motel. And it's all you see when you're there. I don't. I can't remember. It was like mm-hmm. after a tour. I quit the job after the tour. I went in there one night and like the guy time. behind the counter was so obviously drunk, and a cop came in. And it got, it got really weird because I walked in and I'm like talking to the dude for a second. The cop walks in behind me and at first I think I'm in trouble. And the guy like reads me and then he gets scared because he's drunk. And he just sold beer to some other guy who was coming out the door when the cop came in. And so it looked like he was like worried that he was going to get like the ticket for selling alcohol while you're drunk. You know? Oh, no. And he like he was like, oh, what? nothing wrong here. Not, what? And the cop was like, I just said like, how's your night? Like he was, he was just like... Not, not like, he wasn't in trouble at all. The guy just misread me watching the cop, like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. And they, you, never, you know, you, it was scary. He he looked like, for a second, he really was like, oh, I'm not drunk, sir. And the guy was like, I didn't ask you. It was really awkward. And I was yeah, just like, oh, yeah, can I yeah, yeah. smokes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this cool, man? <laughs> can I get smokes before he goes to jail? <laughs> But there you go. Yeah, that's Subway too. There you go. <laughs> it's, Dude, I'll tell you what. It's Subway. In the plaid pantry. What was the craziest thing you saw there? That that was probably the funniest thing I've seen there. Uh, the craziest thing I've seen there. I guess when people fight is like the I craziest. I never saw thing. Yeah, that's fight. usually like the, like two homeless crackheads that are arguing <laughs> over like something really scary too. Like we're not fight, but like <laughs> when people are shouting at each other and shit in the store. Or <laughs> like cutting or or <laughs> asking for <laughs> cash or cutting. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Hey, like, what no, the man, fuck? I stole the fuck back. I was in line. Yeah. I don't know yeah, what you're talking about. Some shit like that. Maybe it wasn't jackets, but... But they're all up in there. Or they're like, yeah, like, coming in, like, no shoes. <laughs> like, asking for, like, asking for shit. Like, huh. I guess, like... I, the cra- I thought the craziest shit about the subway was the people I worked with. Yeah, that shit was <laughs> crazy. Wild. Yeah, they were some... They weren't in any secret society, except for maybe they smoked crack. And that could be... Oh, they maybe keep that secret. I thought this dude was <laughs> yeah, with a pickup truck. And, and I like look nah, up and I'm like, chill. yo, this guy's gonna be like whacked out of his mind. Yeah, it's like, and the dude like, gets out like, down like, there, you know, like somebody like, like over amped from like meth and they like yeah. can't stop moving and yeah, yeah, he gets out and he's still got the bottles and cans and shit and he's going in the flag. The dude just like knows he looks at how many trays he has. He's like slapping money down and he's like, that's that's the max. Dude, and Duff. Like, what the fuck? Dude, Duffy, this. This crazy ass fool did like some crazy messed out shit the other day. Me and Jimmy, <laughs> nah, dude. Me and Jimmy were out front, and it's this dude that came around before, like, you okay. know, all messed out, yelling at us, like, "We are gonna put out my record, and you're gonna sign me, and I'm gonna pay oh your shit because your shit's whack." And he's like an OG or whatever. Okay. But literally, like, me and Jimmy were out oh, front. Yeah, yeah Playboy play, Eddie. We're literally out front of the shop, and he pulls up come in like on the opposite side of the going like the other way like on the other side of the street from Narberger you know <laughs> and he goes into oncoming traffic and then parks right next to the shop blocking that that right lane and he just gets Whoa. out and starts yelling at us about all the same shit and he's all Whoa, like that's some LA shit yeah and Jimmy's like what the f- where, where'd he get that car first yeah, of first all off. like where'd you get this car <laughs> at bro <laughs> And secondly, like, what the fuck? This again? Why are you doing this again? You know? What yeah, what the, the fuck, fuck are you talking and about? And people, and people were like, people had to, to, to drive out the way. Because he was blocking that. He just literally parked, like, in that first lane. Or in, wow. the, in the right lane. Right in front of the that shop. That's like, you see that shit in a movie. Yeah. That's, some, <laughs> that way shit. That's awesome. 
Did he get out the car? Yeah, bro. Cool yeah, hell yeah. He parked the car, <laughs> and he, not just get out, but he walked, like, onto the curb. You know what I mean? <laughs> was he being, like, trying to be cool, or was he being straight, trying to be scary? He was, he was kind of scary. I mean, but but at the same time, it was just like, he's just, you know, it's like, whatever. Dude, that's dude. how those weird, that's how those weird fucking tweaker dudes will get you, man. I had yeah, this, dude. I had this weird like, tweaker stop, friend. Like, you drop your money in the wind, and you're like, oh, end up having to walk into like the first lane of traffic, and then all of a sudden, there it is. <laughs> I had this weird tweaker friend who like, lived at the halfway house down the street, and he liked me because oh, no. I was into music, and like, I don't know, I was, like, young, and uh, and he would, like, come and, like, give me stuff and, like, trade me stuff and be like, oh, well, like, oh, yeah, we'll trade it nice. back. But then he, like, would sold it. He, like, sold my shit. <laughs> and then, like, what, and then like my other friend, like, cons- confronted him about it finally, and he was, like, we, like, chewed him out, and, like, he, like, went, and he was, like, weird. He was living at the halfway house, and he, like, was always relapsed. And he was always, dude, he was always spray-painting his same car and, like, bringing it around, trying to sell it. Oh, hey, really? man, I'm trying to, I'm trying oh, to sell no. my car. Fresh paint job is like this weird, sh- shitty spray paint job. <laughs> <laughs> That's just... <laughs> His nice name time. was uh, Ja. Like, he wanted people to call him Ja, but his name was oh, yeah, Ja Free. But if, I think, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, but I think uh, his name was That's Chris. Weird. I think his name was Christopher. Naturally. Oh, and then the day after we, we chewed him out, and... Uh, um, he came by my apartment. He like figured out where I lived. He was like, knocked on the door. He's like, "Hey, Chris." Chris. I'm like, what? And he like was like, just wanted something back. He was like, "Hey, man, you Whoa. still got those sunglasses or something?" And I was like, "Dude, get the fuck out of here, man." I know something after that. There yeah, you go. Well, I remember when that happened. Yeah, he stole my turntables. Is that in Portland? No, that was in Eugene. Mm. Yeah, Whoa. Whatever they were shitty. It was a shitty It's yeah. the prince it's the principle, man. It's the principle of the whole I like, thing. I wanted a double quarter pounder and then the dad kinda made me like not hungry. Yeah, that know. McDonald's over there is always closed somehow. Like it's like like one of the windows is like all boarded up and getting like shit done to it. It's it's never it's closed. Weird. It seems like a front. Yeah, it's you never can... closed for us, bro. Really? No. Alright, that's these days. I don't know. It's been a while. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Overhaul, let's but... uh, <clears throat> um, let's get back into it, Duffy. I think um, I'm ready to get into something you might know a little more about. OTO. Okay. Do you know this OTO? Yeah, yeah. Ordo Templi Orientis. So the Ordo Templi Orientis are a, a ceremonial magic, like. I guess you could say fraternity. They're they're a secret society. They're passing along um, spiritual wisdom. They they think. Oh, he's a jack. They're, they're, all, they're all based around the work mm-hmm. of Aleister Crowley at this point, who like overhauled um, the entire order. You know, when he accidentally published one of their secrets and seemed to know more about it than them, and they all showed up at his doorstep in England. They were German. And then they opened lodges like all over England and shit. And it like became like this like uh, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. They they follow the uh, the book of the law, Liber Al Dal Legis, Al uh, Crowley's uh, uh, channel scripture that yeah. has a, a pretty complex code in it that uh, is like a uh, Kabbalah. Yeah, appar- they- apparently Al Crowley's wife became. They were in Egypt. She became oh, possessed yeah. by a demon. Then yeah, dictated the book. The then dictated the book to Aleister Crowley, and that's what the book is. It warned her that Horus was coming, and uh, he like his wife didn't know anything about, um, you know, the Egyptian pantheon or, or you know any of what she's saying. Yeah, and he's saying like he's coming for you. They they want you to come hear them, and it's something like he picks up on the fact that what she's saying is like somebody who knows what they're talking about. And so he's like, oh, yeah? And I'll prove it, you know? And it's like it takes him to the museum and shows him this death stele, you know? Whatever it is inside his wife. And it tells him he has to go to this temple in, like, Abydos, I think? I forget. And, and write down what he hears for an hour. 
and he heard like voices and it was three distinct different deities that came and spoke and stood behind him on his left side. And it's like, um, I don't know. So they, they have like some complex and the weird thing is that their whole Kabbalah system, even though it's like largely their own thing, it's, um, it works. It works in it, it, the same sense as like Greek or Hebrew or any of the other languages you apply to that kind of, kind of working. <laughs> yeah, totally. He um, was on some weird shit, basically. He he channeled something weird, and he didn't know he did. It wasn't like a charlatan thing. He like did it, and he wrote it, and it left in his attic for like 13, 14 years. And then one day, like, he stumbled <laughs> on it, and read it. Like, oh, God, this is horribly complex cyber. <clears throat> what the fuck? And it was, yeah, that was the book of the law. Yeah, you know, and and part of their whole thing, too, it's like, the law, the law of Thelema? Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? Yeah, Thelema. Thelema, it means, um, uh, zero. <laughs> oh. um, and so the love is the law. Love yeah, love will. is the law, love under will. And then yeah. do what thou will shall, shall be, be the, the whole, whole of the law. <laughs> so it, it comes from a place of, like, um, free thinking. Free thinking and free love. <laughs> free love type yeah, of shit going on. Yeah, and it's always, like, different <laughs> Arthur speaking to him. If you read it, it's really cool. He's, uh, like, the first one is, I was the minister of Hor Park Prate. You know, it's some, like, old like, <laughs> Egyptian thing. And apparently, like, if you read this stupid death seller that he got brought to you, like, this guy's on it. He's a character in it. It's a story. It's all, it's all really interesting stuff. And it's layers and layers and layers of imagery and Rosicrucianism and masonry and all kinds of stuff kind of woven together. It's really cool. So that's, that's the Ordo Templi Orientis. Human says, Mr. Crown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we probably what went on in magic, your head? It's not really so much for the, just the fun of having sex as it is. <laughs> Carly you know, says Alistair Crowley. Allegedly and stuff like that, but... Crowley Jesus, Alistair Crowley I believe in that. ate his own <laughs> shit, for real. <laughs> well, there's this idea of the <laughs> and it's just so strong. <laughs> Fucking semen, or, you know, like, you know, whatever. Uh, feces, I'm sure. I, I wouldn't do it, but, you know, fuck. I, somebody would. Well, why not, dude? Yeah, it's a way to focus, right? It's just a way to focus your mind and shit, right? He's and your poop. intention. That's how, that's how they do it. He's a poop. That's magic. He eats the poop, right? He's a poop. No, yeah, it's something like that. It's more like he draws him on his palate somehow. But. He's weird, yeah. <laughs> You guys ever watch Two Girls, One Cup? Oh, God, yeah, dude. That's some Crowley shit right there. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> he would definitely love that. He was, he was like into, like, belching and stuff. He was, like, yeah. really into it. Nice. Like, religious. Cameron yeah. says, have you guys or Duffy heard of the Voynich manuscript? Voynich manuscript? Yeah, it looks that weird one. Isn't that, like, AI just finally cracked that? Should we do it? I'm not sure. I think that some AI just cracked one of them. One of those weird manuscripts no one can decode. The poop cup. They read out Was it Do it again, do it again. Some weird AI like finding scripting. They figured out what something was. So Duffy. I want to yeah. know about the sexy stuff. Yeah, so talk about the the, the, <laughs> yeah. the nasty shit this 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 these temple fools did. I want I want to know about the sex. Well, magic. there was um, Crowley was really obsessed with this idea of, of um, kind of like <laughs> alchemical bringing about of like ma magical children, children that were literally like manifestations of deities and and different things. He would try to do this, and this man had one child that lived out of like thirteen. Wow. In the Victorian era, it was always something horrible. It was like the wife takes them up river in China and everybody dies, you know, like no. <coughs> a horrible sickness. And he leaves them and then they all die. He had, uh, yeah, like a curse, a demon or something following his ass around, just ruining people everywhere he went. So people didn't really like him when he came back around, usually, you know. Right. So it was like shittier and shittier until he was just in a boarding house, you know, sad, allegedly. But if you really look at, like, his work and stuff, like, if you're into the occult, Crowley was a weird enigma. 
he was almost on like the level of like Rasputin, who like by the way like apparently they he had crawled back out of the fucking icy yeah. waters after they beat him like that. Yeah, they did. Like that, you know. There's something um, crazy about that guy too. Man. Car- some, Carly says. Some weird people. Carly says uh, Courtney Love and Kurt Cobain were into sex magic, and David Bowie. Were they? I, yeah. I and mean, that, that and he was Edward Chili Peppers was awesome. yeah, blood, yeah, blood yeah. sugar sex magic. You know, it's their album. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm yeah. sure they were. But yeah, so like, I'm wondering, like, maybe you know a little more about this, like, like sure. what what are like the, the 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 power, like, what do you get when you're having the sex or when they're doing the whole like masturbating thing, jacking off thing, or, or doing it in the butt I thing. I mean, you know, they do like all what? kinds of shit. Okay. Does it, like, open up? Let them explain up? the nasty there shit. Are, there are, there are, apparently, I don't know that much about this, specifically, but I, my understanding is that there are different, um, uh, positions and different, mm. like, <laughs> variables that somehow they have, like, a system to determining all of that and um so it's like you have like certain like a male is like an active um elemental and then there's like a passive so you have like that vanishing or invoking mm-hmm. sense that you're either driving something outward or you're bringing something in uh-huh. you know and like then that's so sexual in and of itself there's all that symbolism and it makes sense it's just like oh that's like yeah. okay just some weird hacking of reality that can take place if enough weirdos get together and fuck huh. without restraint apparently yeah i feel like it's, it's very cleaned out it's it's like almost theatrical it's i weird. feel like that's what a lot of these these clubs are yeah it's like you were saying earlier dude eyes wide shut man fuck power yeah fuck power yeah, man that's, yeah that's probably what it is if they say to visualize <laughs> what you want or whatever like you when you come it, like, it's a secret but se- it's with deeper, sex. right? Like most people don't know that. Most people don't know that. Like if you want to be the president, you know, like you, you fuck, fuck children, and set their drugs, and throw them in a hole, in the <laughs> like you know, because no one ever told you. But some old sorcerer somewhere in like a college was like, yeah, you know, and taught them everything. Come, come, fuck me and my friends. And they have a little club. Mm. <laughs> and then, you, then you're like. I went to a party last week. I got buggered by Aleister Crowley, and I think I have crabs. Mm, oh no! Mm-hmm. They probably like, did all, have all kinds of crazy uh, but germs. But <laughs> 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 yes, sounds but like germs. I mean, I, I, they probably paid <laughs> more attention to keeping it clean, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, would, I guess so. Would they, would <laughs> they have? <laughs> would they have like? I, uh, I don't know what his tri- what his trip is. Yeah, would they have ba- <laughs> baths there? But he's. A- He's badass, so I yeah. won't judge. I won't judge him. He's a cool. He's no, good for him. Exactly. They. These, he's the symbol of the devil. Yeah, these people uh, <laughs> worship him. There's people that worship. Yeah, him. so then he gets, he gets like all these formulas for how that all works. So if you want to do like, <laughs> he was obsessed, like for instance, with bringing about this uh, this birth of a moon child. You know. Yeah. What they is... this all figured out to like where the this, the planets needed to be <laughs> to die for this to work. You know? <laughs> All figured out, like, and uh, they were very elaborate. They combined all the different um, schools of magic and things together through their idea of this "do what thou wilt" thing being the key to it all, you know. And so then they work with numbers, and so like in a lot of um, Kalimic rituals and stuff, like you'll knock like three five three at some point. Yeah, and they're like into numerology and stuff like that. And everyone in the room will do this in unison. If you know, like, the rituals and things together and you go to any of the stuff, it's interesting to see it. There's not many outside videos have been made, but there's enough that they do in the general public if you just go. In order to join the order, because um, they're important, they go there all the time. I, I really like it. It's one of my favorite only religious services in town I would go to. But they have the Gnostic Mass on Sundays at, like, 3. And... Um, it's it's a, a shocking ritual in some way for some people. I brought a, a, an ex girlfriend there. Mm-hmm. I think I freaked her out, and it, she was cool. And so she knew like three or four other people when we got there, you know. Um, but <coughs> funny thing where um, that's not what I will get out of my face. <laughs> well, you know, your will doesn't ne- it never impedes on the will of another. Your yeah. true will. So yeah. if you're if you're willing. 
something that way, you're, you're not so nice. It's kind of the general understanding. And maybe not so good things will always happen for you. It all balances out, you know, so. Yeah, it's not all lovey-dovey. It's a, it's. It's a little but bit of too. everything, <laughs> but it is too because Without, love, because like, love is. Love, <laughs> so, you know, like you know, they we... they have like this quote, um, uh, division for the sake of union. Yeah, was one of them. You know, like and they have like this these ideas that are just like so circular, and they make sense when you really look at them and apply them. I, I think the symbolism and everything is so obvious and it's so there and you never really thought of it before. And then your brain makes this connection and then you start <laughs> to see that obviously there is like a huge celebrity cult of it going on and in a good way. You know, like that's probably the secret to how some shit works. Yeah, man. Like, um... they're, they're non judgmental people. They're all pretty much, you know, uh, sexually fluid. You know what I mean? Like, just like. Ready Hoping to get it nice on. People. Yeah, dude. They don't want to. They don't want to kill anybody. They just want to fuck. Yeah. Yeah, and that's cool. Pretty the good. And dump. That, sounds, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> better, better than some. You know, like I guess. You know, you have like your Charles Mansons <clears throat> and your other people out there. Yeah, totally. Charles Listen. was a weirdo, and he hurt a lot of people's feelings. It's like, it's like if you read the book I, I read about his life, it was like. Knowing Crawley was like, oh, wow, there's something really talented and crazy and possessed about this one dude. Um, he's probably, like, evil. And then you find out that he did magic without casting, like, circles. So he had no protections up. He's, like, calling in, like, the, you know. Yeah, he's calling in some dark and ass shit and you know? without the insurance to watch it cover his ass. Yeah, I think um, he has a quote in one of his books. It's actually the one about Moonchild, about bringing about this magical Moonchild that was like the representation of Apollo on Earth. And he had it all figured out. Like, the book is about, like, they find the right girl, and then they pro approach her and try to convince her to have the Moonchild. But they know, like, weird mystical things about her and shit. So. It's, like the, it's like Rosemary's Baby. He wrote the whole thing on cocaine in a weekend. So I think that, like, I'm serious. It's, it's like, famous story is like, he just, like, shit that book out. But he had this character. It was, like, his Sherlock Holmes kind of, um, this old occultist detective character. Um, and uh, Simon It is his name. He has a whole, I have a whole book about him somewhere here. Oh, nice. He wrote all these weird stories, but he always, like, told the truth about magic. It was, like, from the perspective of somebody just in that world. So there's a lot of like really, really profound like artists and bands like Coil like are my one of my favorites and they're uh they were all into that shit. You know. Uh Temple of Psychic Youth. It's like uh Psychic T V is like cult. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know, Bob Dobbs. Bob oh, Dobbs. Yeah, Bob Dobbs. I'm I'm a sub genius, I'm I'm not a pink boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Yo, okay. <clears throat> uh, church of Subgenius is another weird. It's almost a secret society. Yeah, I know a little bit about the Church of Subgenius just from you. Sean's into it too. Yeah, and Sean's into it. Yeah, yeah. He he was one of the people who showed me. Um, they have like these instructional barrage tapes. Oh, nice. I'm so serious. <laughs> They're good. They're really good. They're informative. You watch those, you get. Nice. Some some extra credit in there, you know. Yeah, nice. <laughs> you get your slack back, man. You were born with original slack. Don't let Jehovah the alien take it from you. <laughs> it's basically just Gnosticism, where you have like Sophia and the Archons, you know, and the Demiurge, that whole thing. Yeah, I don't even know. Demiurge. Yeah, that's what you were talking about the other the. Uh... <laughs> okay, wait. So wait, let me see if I remember this correctly. I don't think I do. But it's like the the goddess of like everything had like had like sex with the universe or something, and that made us. And then, uh, what was, did, how did she make? Did they, did they did they know the position? Yeah. T okay. Tell me about about Sophia and the demi urge. Yeah. Again, please, Dusty. Um, Sophia was uh, some conscious form of divinity. You know, a goddess or whatever you call it. 
and she wandered outside of the gates of heaven, so to speak, you know, and um, when she did so, when she stepped across the threshold, allegedly she accidentally created this whole universe of, of matter and um, and we're all just her, right? right. And um, basically uh, the Demiurge is this archon and the archons are kind of this, if you will, spiritual parasite that right. attaches itself to humans and makes <clears throat> them act evil and act out and so be like mentally thetans. ill and being sick and, you know, it's like thetans. whatever they are. Um, that whatever ails you, so to speak, and that's just the archons working because yeah. you're really just divine, you're divinity, and you're trapped in this prison of matter and you can't get out. But we're all apparently the same person. Well, sounds a little bit a lot like Scientology. It sure does. I like oh, that really? Word. Yeah. Okay, so the best part about all, all of this is the Demiurge is, um, <laughs> this is the best. He's Jehovah. That's Jehovah, the, the God of, you know, because this isn't the original world. This is the evil world, the false world. Right. And you die here and you return to the real world. Mm. Okay. Yeah. That's what they believe. Ah, oh, damn, you went into that crazy false world. <laughs> Come on. <man>. Yeah. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Remember what? Our timeline now? Yeah. Stop fucking around the egg, bro. Party, that's actually like what I'm thinking about. I'm mean, just like, are we all just this one boring girl who wandered outside of the gates of heaven and now we're just tripping out? <laughs> down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Down. Down. That we made like a prison for ourselves and then like the curious side of our souls decided to feast on the innocence. Mmm. So the idea is that evil does rule here, and then if that's true, so she the demiurge is certainly not a good guy. She didn't fuck Jehovah, with her, she is the universe. He, he built yeah. the jail. He he he's the real the devil. The <laughs> devil that you've been taught to, to hate and fear is the real God, who's trying to wake you up. You're just tripping. <laughs> uh, Carly and that's said, Sophia and the Archons, I guess, you know. Uh, it is similar to a lot of, I mean... It's pretty easy to base something on that one. Yeah. Carly says you know, she's only good at guessing astrological signs because she practices sense magic and eats her own poop cup. <laughs> Party on! Party on! Carly says, it's the divine power inside me. Cameron says, afterlife is just the mass release of DMT from our brain. We die. Hell to the yeah, my bro. You know what's good? Yeah, yeah that's, <clears throat> that's a real thing. So it feels like eternity. Yep. <clears throat> so you're just Bring like, to, to the other side. And then you're just there. <laughs> Doing your thing. Hell yeah. Or whatever, not. Or, yeah. Nothing ever again from that thing. No, but why? That's one of our symbols. This is like a sex magic symbol. It's just a pop cup. Sex magic symbol. Here we go. This is that universal hexagram. This one in particular has a little lotus. A Buddhist lotus. Uh, Or a Hindu lotus. Um, And that's like, yeah. You know. It kind of looks like the Freemason thing. Yeah, it does. Can you see it? Yeah, we can. It does look a lot like the Freemason thing. That's crazy, man. They got yeah, their well, fucking their little symbols up in the money. All well, up the all over the call. religious you got shit. The call. I just make you were like a freak or something, you know? And why were you a freak? Because you probably got molested by a priest. Yeah. <laughs> What's, what's the fucking deal with secret societies and that? The symbols are is that everywhere. The, the, is that not like black yeah, sex magic? Dark yeah. magic. Dark sex magic. Yeah. <laughs> not. Maybe yeah. black I mean, magic. But yeah. 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 I think, I think a lot of people yeah. dark take sex magic, Crowley yeah. also being into like dark PTSD sex and magic. shit for him being like all magic all the time. Like I think some of what he was into was also just like psychology, you know, subspace and that kind of thing. Comment. Mm. <laughs> Let's do it. He's free. Cam says that him and Carly are Freemasons. Yeah. The Aaron family Holder says, "What's up, family? Hey, Aaron. What's up, uh, Aaron? What up? Very good to see you. We're talking secret societies and the Ordo Templi Orientis. Yeah. Not him. <clears throat> He's stuck. Mm, yeah. Damn. Stoked on the dark hate sandwich. Let's listen to a day. I love McDonald's. Yeah, man. I like the idea of people going to the website, hitting up the donation stack, ordering some cassettes, some uh, some pins. That's right. 
I have a good news is the uh, the um, the mustard pin is coming back. I should have it tomorrow or the next day, and the mustard pin will be uh, only five dollars. Cool. Special special deal. Cool. How do you like me now? It's feeling good. Well, You're doing it, buddy. <clears throat> oh yeah, I'm doing a dab. I forgot. I like this my my nice. <laughs> doing the dabs, Duffy. Hell yeah. I've been I've been like a practicing Thelonite for a long long time. My most my biggest interest is all the academic stuff. There's a lot of cipher, a lot of like Kabbalistic information, tarot cards, and all these things are like interrelated. <laughs> that's like the weird shit that I study, and that's like I've always. Been <laughs> but there's a lot of weird sex too, you know, if, if you're down to get weird. Yeah. Man, of course. And, that, and then, like, so then, like, in these, in one fell swoop, they also are teaching all these people that, like, no, you gotta, like, not do the sex stuff and, like, pray to this and that. And, well, like, these pray kind of about this and that. You better, you better pray. Yeah, it's definitely not like this. Like, see, a lot of people mistake do it that way. But, like, you can't do the sex magic when you're fucking in the bathhouse. Oh, you know, know, and it's like, you do what you will. You do, um, what is right for you. That's that's your concern. That's your primary concern, and to do what's right for others. You know. So if you believe in this kind of thing, you're you're not just gonna do whatever. Yeah. You you yeah, pay attention. So you're gonna be disciplined about it. It's a good it's, society. Yeah, yeah. It's it's usually a positive thing. I had the satanic Bible one good. time. My old bandmate's car in high school, and uh, his mom saw it and got really scared. Mm. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that like, does sound like some like dad rock and roll like cult shit. Like it does. Yeah. <laughs> but it's yeah. not like that book is not like that. Like that. Anybody who wants to start a cult, I'm way down. <laughs> no, no. I, I would be good at it if I decided money. to do it. Yeah, you would be good at it. Maybe like, not start a cult, but I'd be good at culting. You could, like, yeah, I love, I love them. We could have a little cult. Patty used to be in a cult. Mm. Patty used to be in a cult. I used to drive a Colt. I was born <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, my first car was a Dodge Colt. Patty fine. was born into a Colt. The horn was like... <laughs> you gonna say what Colt it is, Patty? No. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, let me repeat. Let me just say this one more time. It is a Colt. I know what Colt it is. Fred I Durst. I a Colt, too. I overcame the brainwashing. Don't worry about me. Oh, Fred I Durst is a huge dab. A huge ass dab. Mm-hmm. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. Your cult wouldn't let you dab. I saw it on Variety. Maybe it's fake. So. It had a title and everything. I just want money. Go read about it and tell us. I saw a porno once where this like toy panda bear came alive. There's nice. like a whole genre of it now. Yeah. Wow. Man, they go so deep into that stuff. Carly it's says fucking Patty. weird. It gets really crazy. Car- yeah, look into it sometime. Carly says Patty Hart. Cameron says starting the Narcolt. Uh, Carly says Nolt. Uh, Human says, Patty the cultist. W says, nice to see so many colorful flowers. 93. Human said, with three says, nolt. I asked a lawyer if we could be a, a religious thing. I was like, can't we just, because I read this thing that they were like, oh, they can't, you can pretty much just say that you are. And But maybe those are just some like weird, really conservative like weirdos and they're like, tech, you know. Hell yeah, lots of people that don't pay their taxes, they're like, I never pay my fucking legal taxes. And it's a theft. And uh, they're like all in businesses and stuff. <laughs> Crazy shit, but uh, well, keep sending a little bit of ring feedback. Yeah, we got it okay. Oh, yeah, we uh, got we have those uh, the Narflower hats and the uh, stoner hat. Let me put those in the chats. I'll put a little link to those. Let me see. A bunch of these. My uh, my great grandfather left me all this stuff too. This was his like Freemasonry stuff. Oh yeah, Fred Durst is making a movie with John Travolta, and John Travolta plays Fred Durst. Oh, Fred in the Durst, movie. that's and amazing. It's a thriller. I think it's called. Uh, I'm just gonna go look at it right now. Somewhere I have a ribbon too. There it is. Freemasonry ribbon. That was his. Damn. Freemasonry. Oh, there you go. I see. Yep. I don't have the monitor up, so I'm watching the the delay on um, on YouTube. But yeah, that's that's cool. 
So does that mean you can get in? Isn't that like how the Freemasons work? It's like family shit. Yeah, dude. My um, my great grandfather, my dad's grandfather, was the vice president of the Chase Manhattan Bank, um, Farring Division from 1917 until 1959. Jesus. He hired David Rockefeller wow. in 1959 as an intern. Wow. No way. And he retired in the same year, and then that dude takes over. That is crazy. Hey, yeah, yeah. So I can just do whatever. Yeah, I can join. You're good. I, I would, just don't do that. Would you ever do it? Would you ever join the Masonic? I would, um, I would gladly mislead <clears throat> the American people and more. For the chance to be a participant in any secret space program that's <laughs> that's your bottom line he so wants to go like, to space yeah you're all, trying to get to space. to space we can do whatever yeah or whatever it's I'm all... Illuminati, basically i need to get my throne back yeah i think I eat another another clan or something yeah they got they got Power. it they got that sort of thing <clears throat> yep my people sack rome Cameron says, I'm pretty sure Leo DiCaprio is playing Charlie Manson in Tarantino's next movie. Oh, that'd be crazy. Oh, that's awesome. That's a good idea. Yeah, that'd be crazy. He'll probably be good at it, too. That'd be great. <laughs> Leo, Damn, Leo, Leo kills. Fun. I'm sorry. I don't care. Leo kills. <sighs> Free Manson, says Aaron Holder. <laughs> He's, didn't he did die? You, did you kill that crazy burger? Uh, I'm getting close, yeah. Nice. This looked like it's a... Bird? Bird lab, like a... Level, Don't kill that like bird. A boss level for sure. No, it was a slow, a slow one, a slow hike. Up the My hill. mouth was really dry. Well, no, I could hear it from across the room <laughs> when you're talking. It's not like pieces of paper rubbing together. Uh, <laughs> it, was like, that it was like it unplugged itself. Like a crumpling a little bit. Yeah, shuffling, <laughs> shuffling together. Try <laughs> uh, George. Ow! Did you bite me? What the fuck was that? Oh, it was Satan. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Uh, wow. He was says, are the mass masons doing spaceship? Are the masons doing Aaron spaceship? Aaron Holder says, Freemason. Jordan says, that'd be a sick movie dialed in the movie. Aaron says, true, Alameo. Yeah. Garrett says, Duffy's been shut down. Uh, he's right there. No, he's back, right? Doing You're shit here. tonight, yeah. Yeah, in the past, they were shutting down Duffy for... Uh, but, for for, um, you know. Duffy blocked them. Oh, yeah, where's that stupid <clears throat> fucking thing? I'll find it. I'll show you guys. What are you talking? Oh, that. You, the, the yeah, a little box I found. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Somebody's getting their ass kicked, man. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Maybe. People want to listen to me listen to the same fucking demo 3,000 times because I went to get lunch. Yeah. I'll, I'll finish it when I get home. What do I need to do? Listen to it a few thousand times in your car. Whoever's surveilling you for the NSA is like, oh my god. Aaron says, Leo DiCaprio as Charles Manson on the Titanic. <laughs> that, that could be a cool sci fi movie. You gonna sign my band? We sign my band? Please sign my band. <laughs> Please sign my band. Fine. If I can sign my band, I'm gonna make a bunch of my stupid kids' parents kill people. You fucking go, man. He was trying to do that black sex magic and it burned him out. Yeah. And he was like a weird man. It was dark magic. He didn't have the shield. Yeah, he did just die. Yeah, he's dead, <laughs> so he really is free. Oh, yeah, he did die, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Who's that? Charles Manson. Who's that? Man oh, Man yeah, he died. Mr. Manson. Died. They're going to kill Sharon Tate in the movie. <clears throat> it's going to be fucked up for the Tarantino part. Yeah, you oh, know. Oh, Tarantino's doing the movie? Yeah. So sad. yeah. The movie sounds cool. Yeah, I'll see that for sure. I am pumped as fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude. Because, like, yeah, it'll, it'll be good. It'll, it'll, it'll be good. fucked up. I feel like maybe I'll be like, man, after I see it, I'm going to be like, man. It's going to be like. It's fucked up. Like, yeah, he so has I bet to, it's going to make you not like him at all. Yeah, because he has to make a point right now with, like, the nature so. of, like, mm -hmm. storytelling and that type of mm -hmm. film, you know? So, yeah. it's going to be intense, I'm fucking sure. <laughs> Cameron says the Titanic in space. Space Titanic. Space Titanic. Space Titanic. <laughs> I watch that. It all makes How's sense. Think so? No, man, I'm telling you, it's about the movie where you got to go back in time and stop 9 11. Oh, aliens. With Jackie like, Chan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, with Jackie Chan. Yeah. It'd have to be a computerized Jackie Chan. Oh, it's so supposed to film here today. They have Called photographs like, of 9 11 happening in like the 70s. Not, it doesn't, I'm not calling it. Like, that's what they say. 
Anything can happen. Guys, all our is going to miss that bullet so he has a piece of shit. Yeah. Well, he was a piece of shit. Well, crazy, man. can we get another sale or donation from one of you guys out there on the network? Show us some love. Show us that you're enjoying the show. Yeah. You know, this is a, a, a nice uh, thing we're doing for you guys. You know, we're only uh, almost two hours into it. And we've all, we've got $12.60 in donations, which is not even close to the 100 that I was hoping for. I put some links in the chats for uh, the Nar Hat and for the friggin' Stoner Hat. And as soon as we get fucking pictures of the uh, the Beret Dog Hat and the Stone, or the White Fang Hat and the Memories Hat, we can send you pictures of those too. Put those on the website. Though... If you want to get those now, too, we can work that out as well. Or if you want to get them tomorrow night. Too. Yeah. We're streaming tomorrow night as well. It'll be our season finale. Uh, it's going to be a spring break themed. <laughs> Hell yeah. Spring break yes, themed. Right. We don't know exactly what the characters are going to be yet. But it is going to be spring break. Uh, which means maybe we need to find like some kind of space heater. Because we need to be like in like... <laughs> yeah. In shorts. And yeah, in shorts. No shirt. Yeah, we need to maybe find somebody that has a space either. Because uh, it's cold in here. Uh, Jordan said, Jack Chan is space. Uh, true, Carly Charles was a cutie. Are you auctioning anything tomorrow? Uh, yeah, actually, and we can, uh, you know, we can do an auction tonight, actually. Double quarter pound of cheese box starting at $3. But I just don't know who's missing uh, from the, uh, who was missing from the, the auctions that would that is not here tonight who would be there tomorrow. Yeah. Because I have the White Fang Tour Tape 11, uh, CCR Head Cleaner NAR Tape, and the Fatal Jams NAR Tape. These are really, really rare. And then I have uh, Adrian Orange NAR Tape, Jeb Kidder mm-hmm. Tape. Uh, I also have a Tall Boys Tape, DJ Mr. Two DJ Mr. The Best, four Mental Theos, and uh, some Burger LPs, and uh, one... Memories Royal United Song Service Double Vinyl Test Press. Because I have two, but uh, I think I have to give st- uh, one set to somebody. So uh, that ordered something different than that, and I might have to give that to them in exchange. Long story. W says Rumble in the Space Bronx. Nice. Here's the spring break stuff. Break, spring, break stuff. <laughs> The biscuits spring Give me break. Some break. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have Jimmy's gonna be like the uh, Carson Daly. Yeah. <laughs> so, I went to oh, so, hey, hey, I looked it up, and on the new the new thing on Variety says that he's playing the titular char- or the main character is based on Fred Durst's. It's based on events from his life, but it doesn't <laughs> say that he's playing Fred Durst. Oh, okay. That's what the main. That's what the fucking first headline said. Well. It's still yeah. have to fix that. It's yeah. much less exciting, but it's still pretty exciting that Fred Durst is making a movie. I'm still stoked. Okay, yeah. I'm back down. I'm, de- I'm, st- I'm still pumped. <clears throat> I'm still pumped. But I was like, wow, Fred Durst is making a, mo- a movie where he directs John Travolta playing himself. John That's Travolta. Up. I really do think they should make a movie you know about the like Martin Shkreli's 10 years in jail. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a good film. Yeah. He mm-hmm. gets the shit kicked out of him and then... Mm-hmm. You know, he's gonna hang out with the pedos. It's gonna be cute. <laughs> yeah, be... they're the only yeah. people that will hang out with him, probably. Mm-hmm. That's right. All they're right. all around, man. <laughs> they get together. That's a sec- not even so. That's a, some for some people. That's an open society. They're like the sure, old, they want to have sex with kids. <laughs> that's fucking nasty. Don't know what you do. That would have been badass if John Travolta played Fred Durst. Yeah, I guess it kind of it, it kind of is. I yeah. mean, the picture has him looking, he's got a beard, and it's next to a picture of, of Fred Durst, and I was just like, whoa, what? Um, he's wearing a hat. Yeah, he's like, got a hat on, and I was like, damn, this is going to probably look look really good, but maybe he's, hopefully they dress him up like Fred Durst, that's all I'm saying. That's all I want. Yeah, that was what I was picturing. That's yeah, what I really yeah. wanted. You, you want to Travolta years, dressed so. up yeah. as... <laughs> you want to break something tonight? that stupid red hat? Yeah. Gotta get wrecked on spring break, yep. Get wrecked. Yep. Don Travolta has been in a lot of great movies, man. What kind of character do you think you... Well, we'll figure this out. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think like it'd be like really easy to make like a lot of money off Scientology if you just opened like another sect of Scientology. Yeah. You know? But they they they're pretty weird, man. They'll come and get they'll you. They'll kill you, know? you, right? Yeah. Or yeah, like, yeah, they'll do other weird no, shit. No, they'll too, kidnap yeah. you and then yeah. put you to work at the yeah. fucking compound. I ain't with that. Fuck that. See, all right, yeah, some, man. I'll tell you some what, of that anyone... shit about like like the secret space program. That's a bunch of like slaves, like people they just like ripped off the planet Earth. And every time some asshole like me is like, I would love to do that. It sounds like a, it'd be an honor. We're like, oh yeah, <laughs> we just get kidnapped, you know? And you like wake up like Shanghai, but in space. <laughs> Yeah, and you're 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 oh, cleaning. Oh, 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 pee -pee yeah, you're cleaning <laughs> toilets at the uh, the space station. And when they're done with you, they just drop you off somewhere else, like that poor skier that got lost in New York and turned up in California like a week ago. Yeah, what is there any follow up on that? I haven't. I don't seen know. It. I think you just pissed somebody at the secret space program off. You're like, fuck this girl. I haven't seen anything about that. Got, like... I should look that. Up. <laughs> That's my that? actual theory. Man by gets the way. lost. That's what I think happened, man. W what did you say? I think he, like, pissed somebody off, man, at, like, the country club or whatever, the rich purple people convention, you know? Yeah. And they were just like, you know what? Fuck this dude. I'm Illuminati. I can do whatever. Huh. He just did him. Yeah. Quick secret space program weekend, you know? Get programmed into a, uh, you know, Manchurian candidate. Yeah, now now he's good. <laughs> a little, little Pico technique to go with your weekend. He'll fall in line now, right? Yeah, dude. You, you say the right key phrase. He'll shoot you in the, you know, right between the eyes from, like, 400 yards. Carly G says, I bet John Travolta does sex magic. Yeah. Human says, I would bet big bucks on that. Carly, you seen that ponytail? And then Aaron says, Illuminati. Drugs. That's mm -hmm. what, uh, that's what Carly's, um... That's the other thing they're into. They're into drugs. Drugs are cool, too. Uh, 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 yeah. Sacramental, like, LSD, things like that. <laughs> Psilocybin. Uh, like maybe if Bohemian Grove might have just been a bunch of people. What is that? Is it a video playing? <laughs> Bohemian Grove? Oh, if we haven't seen that video, we should watch that right now. How long is it? You got videos? No. You got lots really... of videos. I sent them the like documentaries on, uh, on uh, Hangouts. There's nothing. I want me to email or something? Uh, no, I, I got videos. <coughs> we can get started on that if you want. Um. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, Carly says uh, that's my club. Yeah, that's that's what I was talking about uh, earlier. Five. Word. Five. Can you can you hear Fungal? I got my mask. I'm ready to go. Can you hear Funkel? I heard him somewhere. Where is he? Alright, sick. Oh god, there's so many dabs. What, what? There's so many dab, dabs. So many dabs. I'm fucking pretty stoked. Oh. Why well, real society is a control world? Alright, let's play this one. And guys, let's make a donation. Oh, Check out yeah, the website. Narcsafe.com <laughs> slash a G T G and a take it away, Funko. <clears throat> Especially when the same 13 year old spams Illuminati jokes in the comment section over and over. And yes, some conspiracy theories on YouTube are just downright ridiculous, but some are actually very, very true. In fact, some conspiracy theories have been proven right and some very real secret societies have been exposed over the years. I'm Crunchy Knot, and these are five real secret societies that control the world. Number five is the Skull and Bones Society. Skull and Bones yeah. is Yale University's oldest and most prominent secret society. The group is so exclusive that only 15 Yale students are recruited into the Skull and Bones each year. Members of the Skull and Bone Society meet inside a building called The Tomb, which is a strange windowless building located close to Yale's campus. Among many rituals, new inductees into the Skull and Bones have to drink fake blood from a skull before becoming a member. Ooh, Anyone who is inducted into the blood. secret society calls oh, themselves Bones yeah. uh, Its members include numerous U.S. presidents, Supreme Court yeah. judges, 
and countless titans of industry. All the it appears that the sole purpose of Skull and Bones is, is to use its connections in politics and in business to place its members in influential positions around the globe. In fact, the 2004 U.S. presidential election was between two bonesmen, John Kerry and then U.S. President George W. Bush. Yeah. Despite the Skull and Bones controlling both sides of the political equation during this election, neither candidate could say very much about this secret society. You were both in Skull and Bones, the secret society. It's so sick that we can't talk about it. What does that mean for America? <laughs> His face. The conspiracy <laughs> theorists are going to go, oh, sure they are. I don't know. I haven't seen the record. Number 322? <laughs> uh, first of all, he's not the nominee. And, uh, but, um, look, I look for you. Are you prepared to lose? No, I'm not going to lose. <laughs> he was bones, right. The secret society of Yale. What does that tell us? Uh, not much, because it's a secret. <laughs> Is there a secret handshake? Is there a secret code? I wish there were something secret I could manifest. 322? Secret number? Uh, there are all kinds of secrets. Then, but one thing is not a secret. I disagree with this president's direction that he's taken. Yeah. All in all, the secret society has a reputation for taking care of its own, no matter the cost. Number four is the Illuminati. Even though on the internet Beyonce. the Illuminati is nothing more than a joke, the Illuminati is in fact a real secret organization that existed in Germany in the Aaron late 1700s. Probably just BA joins the original Bonesman the Illuminati was Carly to Jesus create George secular w. societies Bitch. in Europe. But after the violent French Revolution broke out, the Illuminati was broken up by German authorities. Modern conspiracy theorists have asserted that the group survived and now operates as a sinister shadow government, directing the industry and politics as it sees fit. President Barack Obama have all been named as prominent members, but no one has yet been able to provide serious evidence that the group still exists. Number three is the Freemasons. Oh, here we Famous go, Duffy. members Duffy. of this very real secret society include Winston Churchill, Mark Twain, Bob Dole, Bob Henry Dole. Ford, Bob and Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> Although the Freemasons are less influential and secretive today than they once were, the Freemasons remain one of the most famous secret societies in the world. There you go. The Freemasons were first founded in 1717, but some evidence shows that they may have been operating as early as the 1300s. Those mothers. Initiates into That's the Freemasons early. must be recommended to the group by someone who is already a Mason. <laughs> and once a member, they must pass through three different degrees of standing before reaching the level of Master Mason. Members also have secret handshakes, gestures, and passwords in order to identify yes, each other. Either way, the influence of the Freemasons is likely exaggerated, but nevertheless, this very real secret society continues to operate to this day. Yeah, they do. Number two do is Bohemian thing. Grove. Here we when go. former U.S. Just President favorite. Bill Clinton was confronted about his alleged involvement in Bohemian <laughs> Grove, this is what he had to say. Yeah. I hear you, Fiona. Hear Fiona says the there was a guy in her family who was a Freemason, but it doesn't yeah. matter because she's a freaking the girl. As you say, Bohemian Club, yeah. that's where all those rich Republicans go out and stand naked against redwood trees, right? <laughs> I've never been to the Bohemian Club, but you ought to go. It'd be good for you. Get some fresh air. So, yeah, Willie. <laughs> Bohemian Club. This group <laughs> exists, but I don't know about all the Bohemian Club. Very much aware. Of boom hour. Yeah. But what exactly is the Bohemian Grove? What sort of influence do they have? It is known that during 1942, Robert Oppenheimer and many other prominent U.S. officials planned the Manhattan Project while at Bohemian Grove. Beyond this, not much is really known about Bohemian Grove, other than that the area is surrounded by armed guards and an impenetrable layer of redwood trees. And the elite few who are allowed to attend engage in bizarre and occultish rituals such as the cremation of care. Cremation which of is a care, man! Designed to worship the god of Moloch. Famous attendees go. of the Bohemian Grove include Ronald Reagan and Richard Nixon, among many other famous politicians and businessmen. And number one is the Bilderberg Group. There you go. The Bilderberg Group is probably the most powerful and relevant society <laughs> in the entire world. Ah, I hate, they're in the every Bilderberg mall. Group I was hate it. It was originally founded by the Dutch royal family so that the various competing governments and business interests in Europe and in North America could meet in one place and decide policy as a unified group. 
the immense secrecy of the Bilderberg Conference, along with the intense security of the meeting sites, which often feature armed guards, police, and even fighter jets patrolling the skies overhead, has only produced a number of conspiracy theories. Some on the left have the group of to impose capitalist domination, while some on the right have accused the group of conspiring to impose a world government. No press is allowed One world government! And no significant yeah. details concerning the topics discussed are ever officially released to the public. According to a former chairman of the Bilderberg Group, a major attraction of the Bilderberg Group meetings is that they provide an opportunity for politicians and business people to speak and debate candidly and to find out what major figures really think without the risk of off-the-cuff comments blowing up in the media. Yeah, there you go. Whether this is true or false remains to be seen, but what cannot be denied is that people who are invited to the Bilderberg Group often find themselves in positions of power shortly afterwards. Just a few examples of this strange pattern include Stephen Harper of Canada, who visited the group just one year before he became Prime Minister. Yep. Angela Merkel, who also visited the group less than a year before becoming the Chancellor of Germany. As well as President Bill Clinton, who attended a meeting just two years before becoming President of the United States. Other go. prominent attendees yeah. include Henry Kissinger, who is considered an international power broker, as well as Ben Bernanke, who was Chairman of the Federal Reserve Bank of the United States. That's a big For one. More top list just like this. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. So there you go. Number one, the goddamn sure build the bears. Filters. Goddamn build the bear corporation. Build the bears. Build the bears. With their goddamn cute, cute fucking. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the Instagram which suggests she could be a follower of O. Oh. Peaches, not peaches. OTO are well known for their use of drugs and sadomasochism. We wanted to learn more, so we spoke to a guy called John Attack, who has personally dealt with people who follow the OTO. OTO is a German group practicing magic, which came under the control of Alistair Crowley in the 1920s. Oh. Crowley was called yeah. the wickedest man in the world, and That's he right. was a target of Hitler's. He basically was highly critical of Christianity, which he thought was bogus. He was a multiple drug abuser, he was a heroin addict, a joint? and he died in 1940. That's uh, a heroin yeah. At the time when <clears throat> that was rather <throat> unpopular. And he was accused of having caused some of the members of his group to commit so suicide. Some banging out out here, Along with most of the ritual magic groups of the early 20th century, the, century, the OTO compacted all of the gods and goddesses they could get their hands on. So they got the Egyptian, the Viking, uh, the Greek, the Roman, put them all together. And they then what? practiced rituals which were meant to give them magical powers to get little demon entities to work on their behalf to control other people to do what they wanted them to do. The rituals were written down by Crowley and so have been passed on and continue to be used. Ron Hubbard, the founder yeah. of Scientology, was a, an avid follower of Alistair Crowley and indeed practiced the eighth ritual of the OTO, which is a homosexual magical ritual intended uh. to bring about the birth yeah, of the moon child, who would be the Antichrist. Scientology derives uh, a great deal of material from Crowley. I must say that I consider Scientology far more dangerous than the OTO. With the OTO, it doesn't publicize, it doesn't actively recruit. It's a pretty small group. You're probably looking at a few thousand people at most. They do have a leader to whom they pay reverence, but OTO people tend to be more intellectually inclined, and they've often studied a great deal around the subject. I've dealt with the OTO, and I found them perfectly friendly. And said that, they have a very liberal attitude towards the which for most people would probably not be palatable. Crowley's sexual practices were yeah, very extreme, very masochistic practices. He had a particular penchant for, for women who had gonorrhea. If somebody had any kind of psychological difficulty, then this would not that be sucks. a good idea. Let us know what you think about all of this in the comment. Most importantly, click subscribe. All right. Check out our Weird. Right. About cults and also come our back. latest video about all right. Let's come back. Let's come back. Let's come back. So that was the uh, OTO, Ordo Templi Orientis. <laughs> What's that? Truth Loader, thank you very much. Loading us with the truth of um, our history <laughs> and our present <laughs> future. There you go. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, that was a fun, fun little uh, 
that's that's what we were talking about, trying to get at. <clears throat> yeah, that's weird shit, dude. George Bush. Yeah, what the hell, man, right? Like, and you have, like, this, you know, the world's a normal place. We think we know what's going on. You see something like that, and it's just like, well, is this shit real? Who is Stephen wow. Harper? Who? Fuck Stephen Harper. Yeah. He is, um... Watching. Yeah, he was in one of those videos for sure. Yeah, but like that last one was kind of weird. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, that's the last one. The the, the the wait, what's so the last link doesn't work? The Naruto's flower hat, really? Uh, oh yeah, it says four four page not found. Yeah, but I just, I just linked to it. Let's see. Anyway, what are you talking about? We were just uh, getting off the uh, OTO, the OTO um, organization. Um, it sounds pretty good, though. Love, you know. We haven't gotten into, like, Rosicrucianism, right, or any of that. There's, like, a lot that get real deep. They're, no. like... Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Yeah. Do you want to do the? Do you, let's. Do you want to? Let's do we that. Can move on to some of the older ones. So, yeah. There's some that you know, like they say, like really date back to like ancient. Yeah. Know? Let's do. Uh, let's. Those are all cool. I'm really into all that. But. Let's let's do Rastacrucians right now. <laughs> sure. All right. Put put the video on, and then we'll. Uh, and then we'll we'll discuss it afterwards. Torture guide stones there's RC Christian. Um, that's a monster. Secret documents hidden in the library. Okay. 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 It's also really loud in here. That's really loud. Ding, 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 It's the crazy music. Um, Stephen Harper was the last prime minister before Justin Trudeau. Oh, so he was the asshole, I guess. Uh, oh. He was really conservative and gross. That's who he was. And so, um, they got him in there. Fuck that fool. Yeah, it sucks. Um, got his ass in there. Build the bird. <laughs> Build a bird. I want mine with a denim jacket and jeans and a white tee. Build the bear. Build the. I want to build the bear. Yeah. <laughs> is... I want the Trumpy bear. Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah, dude. You got. Yo, you got to see a commercial for the Trumpy bear. <laughs> you know the hover around food or something, right? No. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys, you guys got to check all these things out. What? Up around takes me where I want to go. You guys don't know about this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I love this. So let's look at it up. I'm serious. The hover around's not. Hover around, round, round, get around? or? No, there's, there's probably a few of them, but this, there's, there's this famous commercial with this dude in the chair. He can't really sing. He just sings this like whole song for like a while. It's kind of weird. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mi- like remix it for like some trap song. Like, I'm going to auto-tune it and shit. It's going to be great. Yeah, let's do the video, huh? Story of the Rosicrucians reveal humans' mysterious past and the inevitable future of the human race. What was the function of the pyramids? How and why was Atlantis destroyed? Who are the guardians of the secret wisdom? Where did our creators come from? Let us open these ancient gates and look into the past and future of Did human race. Did you send race. this one, Duffy? I think it was one of the ones I sent, yeah. Yeah, I, I watched this one. This one was good. The Vatican Library is not the only place that is full of secrets. There are also some yeah, secret like societies oh. that possess unique knowledge of our planet's huh? history. In this video, we would like to talk a little about the secret knowledge of the Rosicrucians, a society of mystics, formed in late medieval Germany. 
According to secret documents in the library of the Rosicrucians, the Greek philosopher Plato was a depositary of the Atlantean tradition and his account is genuine. Part of the teachings of the Rosicrucians have been revealed to the Order's members by the French Grand Master Raymond Bernard. Raymond Bernard. Thank you, Raymond Bernard. Kelly G says the Vatican is fucked. You do a whole episode just on the Vatican. Yeah, their shit's fucked up too. According to Raymond Bernard, Atlantis was a highly civilized continent with means of transmission and Woo! transportation compared with which odds are nothing. In its time, it was the heart of the world. Colonized people received knowledge in keeping with their capacities. In particularly open countries, a direct relationship was established by the College of Sages, that is, the highest initiates of the time, guardians of the secret wisdom, and this relationship was marked by a pyramidal temple in the image of the Supreme like Pyramid the where the college had its seat again. in Atlantis, and where its knowledge was preserved. Only one pyramid, however, has reproduced the Supreme Pyramid, and even then in a different measure. What is known as the Pyramid of Cheops. It perpetuates in the face of the world the totality <laughs> of Atlantean wisdom, whereas others reveal the of it. In the rather near future, discoveries beneficial to mankind will put an end to many arguments. That's dank, Cameron, that's dank. The Atlanteans knew the nature and power of certain cosmic forces, particularly telluric currents, and carefully applied them to agriculture and the harmonious maintenance of the overall balance of these currents, to avoid all geological catastrophes that it was within man's power to avert. Yeah. The pyramids also fulfilled this they function were because they of were the duly studied advanced. locations yeah. in which they were built. Elsewhere, points of protection were sufficient. This was the case. For example, with dolmens and manhirs, he precisely marked places of conjoined forces and focalized universal energy, where efficacious ceremonies could be held. It was the same with megaliths, many of which can still be seen all over the world in estates, fields, and even cities. But their sole function was to amplify cosmic energy and improve harvests. It can be considered, moreover, that all these secondary elements were attached, from the standpoint of energy, to the Supreme Pyramid. The entire Earth thus constituted a kind of efficient receptacle for the whole of cosmic forces. Interesting. When the Supreme Pyramid had been unfavorably altered as the result of ignorant and ambitious intrigues, the planetary catastrophe that engulfed Atlantis transformed the surface of the Earth and became engraved in the folk imagination under the inaccurate name of the Deluge. In the basis of the teachings of authentic African secret societies, a particle of the Atlantean wisdom has been preserved. The sages did not reconstitute the empire because of what happened and because this in accordance with the universal plan. It is the whole world that is called upon to ah, become the new Carly. Atlantis. The human will is always free. Once again, and for the last time, mankind will face an ultimate choice from which will result either an era of extraordinary civilization or the end, not of a continent this time, but of the world. This time of choice is approaching. It will be marked by the reappearance of Atlantis, the resurgence of the vanished continent before the astonished human race. The sages have guided our development have given men the discoveries that were suggested to him, as soon as he was able to understand, receive, and use each of them without danger. They have delivered, in the strictest sense of the word, the scientific and technical knowledge acquired by the Atlanteans and preserved by them and their successors. The knowledge of the Atlanteans yeah, come from another right. galaxy and was brought by those who became the first rulers of Atlantis. Some of these extraterrestrials returned to their home, others remained on Earth to carry out a mission, all of the Stop world's civilizations up. come from this second group.
That's crazy, man. I never After the thought. destruction of Atlantis, the Shining Ones, a group of highly advanced extraterrestrials beings who were our creators and later became worshipped beings. as gods, were scattered over all continents. The Shining yeah. Ones continued their mission and assisted and guided humans in their development. They shared their knowledge and taught man agriculture, medicine, astronomy, mathematics and everything that was needed for our survival as a species. That's right. The Shining Ones were a superior right. race and much of what they could accomplish seemed like magic to our ancestors. However, these alien beings were no magicians. On the contrary, many of them were skilled scientific technicians. The scientific and technological knowledge of the Shining Ones was and still is beyond our comprehension. This remarkable alien civilization was fully aware of the danger of revealing all of its knowledge to the humans who were considered a less developed species. Therefore, the Shining One's secret knowledge was passed on but only to a group of carefully chosen individuals, like pagan priests and initiates of the secret wisdom. It was their duty to guard and preserve the wisdom of the Shining Ones and so they did. The secret knowledge of the Shining Ones survived until today, but the no teachings problem. of the gods are not easily accessible to any ordinary person. This extraordinary and what extremely up, valuable knowledge has been written down what and up, is locked BG? behind closed doors that are very difficult to open. In other words, the creators of humanity were extraterrestrials and we can all consider ourselves children of the stars. What do you call? Interesting. So, um, the whole Rise of Christian thing is that, um, we are of the ET, the extraterrestrials. ET? I mean, I'm into that. Yeah, spice up this, this fucking, this, this stream. Yeah. Some strikeout shotgun thing. Oh, yeah. Let's, I, do this, I would do a strike shotgun. A new shotgun? I would do a shotgun if you guys want. If that's something you guys would and want to see. Yeah, does it, and nobody's gonna buy a Nartape's hat or a shirt. I'll go mm -hmm. buy one, get one free on shirts tonight. I'm not gonna do that for a while, because uh, shirts are Isaac has to make them. Yeah, that's fine. Custom. You down to do that? Yeah. Right now, yeah. For tonight, we only right have here. 50, 50, or we have Wait. 58. No, uh, 48 minutes left. For tonight, we could do that. That's tight. Yeah, buy one, get one free shirts. So you just go to the store on our website, nartapes.com slash GTG. It's easy. You order a shirt, and uh, then in the comment box, uh, on checkout, you say the size and the color and the shirt that you would like. And we'll hook you up. Can you buckle? Can you put on the what is it the the hover the hover round scooter? Yeah, I couldn't find I could I, I, I it didn't I didn't I couldn't find like a real one that just that seemed like a real commercial. That's I think that's what it was. It didn't seem to have a whole lot of views. Huh. The one that Duffy was talking about because I thought you found it, but yeah, I mean, you did. I heard, it, I heard it in there for a minute. <laughs> it was really short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's, a, there's a video where it keeps going. It's got to do it forever. It's like indefinite. It just keeps playing. No. Why not? <laughs> it's just this, mm. just this little thing, right? Yeah. Kind of. I mean, it was it was pretty big. There's like other cuts of the commercial. They're a little longer, you know. It has sections and stuff. It's cool. I've heard it. Yeah, yeah right? right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? I feel like I remember this. I, mean, I, don't, I don't think I can just put on the hover on this one because that's not something else that happens. Yeah. That's a good call. But it's the song that's funny. <laughs> I think W was just talking about the, the actual commercial. Yeah, 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 it's a commercial, man. It's the one. Commercial for the hover around scooter. Yes. Yes, he just made like a, like a version of it that was like not long. Yeah, that's not the one. <laughs> no. Human says, Bugo sure, it's hot a damn. 
That's tight. Um, Carly G says, my priest says there are no aliens. And then BDG says, your we, priest is an we go into Evan. Evan. Something wasn't right here. Oh, baby, baby. I should have let you go. And something I had done and show me how you want it to be. Tell me, baby, cause I need to know now. Because my loneliness is killing me. I must confess, I still believe, still believe, when I'm not with you, I lose my mind, give me a sign, hit me baby, one more time, time, uh, Mega Man Nexus, what the hell is going on here, you're watching the Nartips Network, this is our weekly show, yeah, what's up, and they're brainwashing us, help, <laughs> the show is called Paranormal Narc, Paranormal, uh, it wasn't a karaoke night. No. But I just Sometimes you just burst in a song. Yeah. I'm <clears> doing <throat> hecka hecka dabs, and I really want to <laughs> sell some merchandise from our website. I really want to see somebody get a t-shirt in the mail. Or two, because it's bo go yo 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 go 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 yo go. I did a hell of a lot of dabs. My mind's so twisted. I need to clean my room. Oh, there's so many things I need to do, but I just want to play Doom on my Nintendo Switch. All I want to do, because I got to play Bayonetta 1 and 2. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Honk, 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 honk my horn. Honk, 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 honk my horn. I warned you, I'm going to honk my horny horn. My horny horn gets you, I've been warned. Yeah. Nice. Pretty sweet freestyle. I was having fun with it. Yeah, the Doom the Doom definitely looks fucking sick. It's fun as fuck. Man. Yeah, it looks real good. Glory kills, man. Yeah, that lo- that's like the this seems like the <laughs> best it sounds satisfying. Satisfying. Jump on him. It's satisfying when you get that. Remember the other night we all felt that earthquake? That was crazy. Yeah. Well, I, felt, I felt that one. Yeah, I felt like the the like the somebody like lifted the room up like a foot. It was just like <laughs> So crazy to me. Dude, I uh, just got that audit switch. I'm loving this. Cameron says, hey, Ricky, are you going to get Dark Souls so for Switch? Fuck, nice. Fuck yeah, I'm going to get Dark Souls for Switch. I'm going to get Dark Souls, and I'm going to get fucking Wolfenstein 2. Those are the ones I'm looking forward to. Yeah, Wolfenstein 2 looks sick. And Beta 3. Mango says, so tell me what this night consists of. Well, it's a different theme every week, uh, and... But they roughly goes on paranormal or conspiracy or a mix thereof, yeah. or just fairly creepy stuff. But it also just goes into the same dark thing where we just kind of divulge into our old bullshit. Yeah, and we talk about <laughs> like um, one of those stupid podcasts that you listen to because you want to hear true crime stuff, but it's just a bunch of like dumbasses talking about how they smoke weed for like an hour and a half, and there's like half an hour of true crime on there. Yeah, it's like this kind of. It's still fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's still really fun to listen to because you're like, yeah, that's how I think too. I'm yeah. faded. No, we're funny. Yeah, we're funny. I'm honey. Uh, but yeah, we've been uh, we've been talking secret. We've been talking secret societies tonight. Cameron says also the demo of the new Kirby game kicks ass. I can't Yo, wait for that to come out. Literally, Kirby game. Uh, Cameron says also the demo for the new Kirby games kicks ass. I can't wait for that to come out. Oh nice! I need to try that demo. On that shit. On you download it? Oh, yeah. You already did it? I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I just picked up the Switch and turned it on. It was immediately like, you want this? I was like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's tight. I'm going to get mine really quick. 
Hell yeah, it's a Switch Party, baby. I already paid for, like, I already put, like, five bucks down on that game at GameStop. Oh, on the Kirby game? Mm-hmm. That's tight. No, dude, I'm all about it. I'm on my Switch shit. I got this thing. I ain't looking back. I mean, I got, like, the whole setup now. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. What, have you, what have you been playing the most? Doom. Doom? Yeah, but only because there's no other shooter game. Yeah, Doom looks like, sick I, as fuck. I like Doom a lot, I do, but I, I would be over that particular game just because I've already basically played through it all, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, it's fun, it's fun to play multiplayer and stuff, but it's not really my favorite. I, I'd be interested to see what else is out there. Oh yeah, there's a lot. They made one, one shooter game, basically, for now, so they gotta catch up. Oh, yeah, right they there. had Perfect Dark back in the day, though, man, that was... Okay, I'm gonna says, get a new N64, I think, or I'm gonna get one of those mod kits and make it like HDMI and like widescreen and shit. Yeah, <laughs> it looks weird like that. Upscale the graphics like... and like put like LEDs behind like the logo and shit. Yeah. Cameron says you gotta send your friend code in the Discord, Rick. Oh yeah. You should do that too, uh, Duffy baby. Bob Dylan's yeah. grandma. <laughs> um, is that a Dorito Hi. emoji right there? Sick. Yeah, Doritos is always tight, dude. Um, yeah, and you should too, Duffy. That's tight. Oh, is that that? Yeah, there you go. All right, let's see what my friend code is. Let me find that out. Get that, Kirby. Get that, Kirby. Human says, I'm falling asleep over here. I'm going to go lie down. Have a good night, everyone. Oh, night, no. human. Good night, human. Night, Thank you for stopping by, as always. Have a great Can night. You find your friend code? It's in your profile or something. I would imagine. Uh, yeah, I think so. That's probably where it is. Where? I really want to play this demo. Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for yeah. this Kirby game. You guys get the new Pac-Man yet? No. Uh, the new, uh, it's Pac-Man Championship so Edition fun. 2. Yeah. Yeah. Plus. <clears throat> you got Retro City R Rampage, right? Oh, there's the friend code. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he got that. Oh that yeah, I, I told I'm gonna told you to get that. Yeah, okay, I thought so. That was tight. That's a great game. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm loving that. That whole um, GTA meets 16 bit like, you know, fighter. Eight bit, yeah. Run around game. It's great. The loving new, it. The new one coming out looks really good. Cool. Hawaii t Shakedown, I think is what it's called. Cool. Yeah, uh, we we so watched. We watched like a, a preview of that, right? That one looked fucking yeah. tight. Cool. A top down shooter, like that's always fun, man. What like, about uh, what was that? Uh, um, damn, the the the, oh, one, the Pixel Art one, on uh, Long Night or something like that. Pixar. Yeah, that's only for PC, but that, was, that looks awesome. Yeah, the Long Night, the mm. the, the, the last night. Mm. It's a Pixar. No, Pixel Art. Oh, is what Pixel I said. Art. That'd be cool for the Pixel game though. I'm like, whoa, mm. that Pixar. is crazy. Dude, I want to play fucking Visage, and, uh, yeah, I don't know what yeah. it is. I just check that one out again. They have Rampage on Switch? No, it's, a uh, uh, Retro City Rampage, which is a different game. They should do a port of Rampage with the movie coming out. Or did the movie just come out? No, it's coming out, I think. Yeah, it's supposed to be the biggest thing to hit the theater since Jumanji. That's ridiculous. <laughs> no shit. I watched the, uh, Odd Cinema Oscar special today. That just came out. It was, I watched a lot of that with you. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> so, it was so good at that. Uh, <laughs> it fucking nail it. I wonder how many people watch your stream on Adult Swim. Man, yeah. Mom's Burger was really good earlier. And also, when I was waiting for my burger, they were just blasting, like, funk and soul music. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Ladies Night started coming on. And I was like, oh, my God. I forgot how much this song roasted. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, so oh sick. what a night! <laughs> oh what yeah, a night! Yeah, that's just sick. Got a new camera hook coming. It's supposed to be tomorrow. That should be fun for Nard. Oops, nice. Check the tracking. Uh, no, but it said guaranteed. Let me guaranteed. see. I was gonna see if it tried to come today and wasn't able to. You never know. But yeah, I've been uh, 
I've been checking out the Twitch a little bit the past couple of days, and Twitch is fucking sick. Twitch is tight. There's yeah. a bunch of cool ass shit. Loot boxes and stuff. There's a bunch of fun, fun people. I'm, the, I still don't quite get like, um, cause you could pay for to like make the noises. Is yeah. that how that, that works? There's, like, there's, a, there's, a, yeah, you, you do the, the chat bots. You, say, you, you, you can, we can set up a chat bot. I can, we can do that. Yeah. It's just like. Yeah, and it's cool, like, people can be like, how long have I been listening and watching, and it shows, or they can, they can, like, people on their bots, you can do it for YouTube, too, uh, yeah. not as much, not, you can't do as much, with, but, like, like, you can, um, gamble, like, imaginary tokens, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, like, random dice rolls and stuff, people can just do it, do it. and, uh, yeah, you can get it so that it, it does text-to-speech for your, uh, some of the donations, which could be worth it, maybe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do on Twitch. It is true. It's just fun. It's just fun checking out some of the music streams. I checked out maybe one or two IRL streams, but that's just like you know, folk doing their thing. But the, the those couple music stream ones we saw, that dude playing drums over popular music was yeah. really sick. One of our viewers hit me up on Discord, and was like, "Hey, there's a thing. Like, I'll tell you more about it if you want to know." It's like kind of sensitive, and I was like, "What, what are you talking about?" And he was like, "Well, I think you guys should have this guy." Remember that guy in the, that was in that YouTube video, Ricky? That was like, "What's wrong with with live streamers?" And it was like the kind of bigger guy who was like was crying and stuff on the oh, yeah. on his live stream. Yeah, it was that guy. And he yeah, was like, well. "You should ha you should have him on your stream." Like, and uh, then I watched some of his streams, and he's like, mostly just chilling in his van and like making music. But uh, I don't know. I haven't I haven't followed up on messaging with this person. I don't know if they're watching right now. But uh, I was like, "Whoa, that'd be weird to have that guy on our stream." You messaging him. <laughs> I wasn't messaging him. It was someone who wa who watches our stream who was messaging me, and I just won't say who it was, I guess, because I don't know. He said it was sensitive, <laughs> and I haven't called up yet. <laughs> I'll just says, uh, "I'm never gonna dance again. Good for you, ain't got no rhythm. Though it's easy to pretend, I know you're not a fool." That'd be cool if you could you could do this. You could program like. Uh, a MIDI engine onto like a JavaScript thing and like like if someone typed backslash never gonna dance again or yeah. what is that song called Guilty Feet Go. anyway if you type that song yeah like, ding, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah totally sing along uh, Mango says so we're gonna hear some spooky stories yeah you got a spooky story bless you um yeah uh one time I was getting it on with my girlfriend and the time that my parents were gone. I was living at my parents' house. I was 18 or 19 or something. And they were gone on a trip. And we were in the den. And we were like, the door was shut. Is this the weird little scam ca camera one you've got? The lie detect Brio? This one? Yeah. What's it called? The l Brio? This one? B R I L. That's okay. And, uh, yeah, so then we were done, and it was dark, it was nighttime, and the uh, uh, the door was shut, and I was trying to find my pants, and I was like, where are my pants? And my shorts were outside of the door, and they were tattered up. What? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. And then I went into the kitchen, and the lights were all off, and so I, like, swung my fist. You have a set this up and shipped to Davey's house. No, I changed it, like, three times. So I shipped it there. <laughs> That was wrong, dude. I filled that out correctly. Well, it's there right now. That's bullshit. Just change that. <laughs> yeah, I could probably do that. Maybe it'll... I looked, and I even, like, followed up because I was like, what's the deal with it saying... They had something all screwed up, too, because it said it was going to come today, too. So it was like, get it I tomorrow. I change it, so... Yeah, my bad. We'll see if I haven't shipped all of them out, though. I don't know. I had to look them up. Maybe you had to do the rest of them, because I had to look that one up individually because I couldn't do it on my phone. Anyway, you can finish that after this. Uh, yeah. Um, I noticed that, though. You're tattered. tattered yeah, tattered anyway. Pants, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So I went into the kitchen, and I went and turned on the lights, and all the cabinet doors were open in there. Oh. And there was a crazy noise. I forgot about that part. There was a guy, like, I th here's the thing. I think it was, I think it was the ex-boyfriend of this girl. I think he followed us and threw a fit and opened all the cabinets and, like, got my pants, I guess, somehow. I guess he was in the house. That's that's spookier than if it was a ghost. <laughs> yeah, because it made a noise. I didn't no, hear it correct, leave. Correct. Never mind. It's fine. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good. I was like, 
I was like, damn it, Amazon's making me look like a dumbass, even though I know I fucking did it <laughs> no, right. No, you did it right. You did it right. I looked at it wrong. Anyway, yeah, the, the, the uh, you went, did you, did you get, you, you went out of the, the, you're in the kitchen now? Is that where you're at? Yeah, I was in the kitchen, and, and yeah, and the cabinet doors were all open when I turned the light on. And I swung my fist across. I, that's what I always did when I was like scared. <laughs> yeah. was just like, like ready to go. Yeah, and then got the because the, the light switch was all the way across. So it was just supposed to be out. Um, what was the theory, the theory, the possible theory later that you found out too? Yeah, that's what I said. Was yeah. that was that I? And this is what I think is the likely theory. Although it is weird because it, that means he was in the house. Yeah, and like did yeah. this stuff. Yeah, probably but, um, maybe watched you. Um, but yeah. Uh, what was, was his name? Fun. Gabriel. That kid was cool too. That sucked. Yeah, that, but uh, um, yeah, he. The whole time I was dating this girl. This is a little stupid story. This isn't spooky anymore. Uh, but the whole time, the whole time, uh, maybe kind of. It's. I don't want to think about it too much. But uh, the whole time I was dating this girl, she was actually still dating this this guy. And then later on, even from this, I found out that this was her baby daddy. She was pregnant the whole time. And. Um, and so I'm like, damn. But anyway, before that, uh, I find out that she's still like seeing him all the time. And the place I like, sometimes I pick her up at her at her aunt's house or whatever. And it's not her aunt's house. I mean, you used to pick her. It up. was her, her yeah. his house. Yeah. yeah. It was actually her his or the boyfriend. It was the boyfriend's apartment complex. Damn. Yeah. And uh, and so so that's why I'm like, he followed us. That's when I crazy. Found, years later, when I pieced the, and I put all the pieces together, I knew later crazy. on because I didn't know about that shit until way later. Yeah. That she was still like hanging out with him. That she was still with him. How yeah. old was he? Um, he was like, he was like 15, 16, I think. Wow. Yeah. That's like a Nick Cage movie. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Yeah, that was weird. And then she uh, she kept the baby and became the uh, the like poster poster child for uh, adoption works. Like she was like on on like at the mall and like <laughs> she like I gave my baby away. <laughs> That's fine. You can give it. Yeah, man. If you feel like you can do it and give the baby away, it's shit. Do whatever the fuck you want to do with your baby. Eat it. Eat your baby. Call Isaac. He'll help you f- prepare it. Yeah. One hundred percent. We'll fry the skin up and make, uh, you know, little chips, little hors d'oeuvres. That's fucked up. For the, <laughs> for the party. Just kidding. We we'll never do that. You thought about this before? <laughs> yeah. I have the seasoning. I have the dry rub ready. Cameron sent me a friend request on here. All right. Let's see. Altra says he probably heard you pounding her hard and was like, fuck, he could probably fight like a beast. <laughs> well, he went like... <laughs> it's like a monster noise. That's what you heard? Yeah. And then, oh, and I saw the cat run by too, so I was like, was that the cat? <laughs> so it was like, it was a whole bunch of Wait, so it was shit. like, ah! It was like a and my crazy cat, And my pants were like, were ripped up, so I was like, the cat wouldn't do that, couldn't do that. So he brought awesome. scissors with him or a knife? I don't know. And cut up your pants? <laughs> Did you I'm glad he just them? opened up the cabinets instead of opening up my, my chest with his <laughs> fucking yeah. kitchen knife. <sighs> and that That'd be that... fucked up. If some little dude tried to like stab me to death, I could probably like maybe still take him. Uh, and, get all yeah, and up. that was at your parents' house? Yeah. yeah Did your woman in Washington uh, hospitalized her boyfriend attacking him with a samurai sword? Oh, maybe he came and looked at us through that window. Sorry, wait, so what? A woman in Washington State uh, hospitalized her boyfriend and is now facing a serious uh, prison sentence Damn. for attempting to murder her boyfriend with a samurai sword. <laughs> Damn. Because uh, she thought he was cheating, and then he came home and ignored her. And but this is also, I read this on Fox News, so yeah, yeah. <coughs> who knows how they, how they want to say it. So Yeah, right. She looked pretty bummed in the picture, but... Samurai sword. One. That's scary. Two. Where the fuck did you get a samurai sword? Yeah. It's like usable. Yeah. For real. Cosplayers, maybe. Oh no, guys. Amazon. I bet you can maybe get one on there. Um, Carly says my brother attacked yeah. me with a sword once. <laughs> oh shit! Fuck that. Ouch! Just says he was looking for a weapon that decided to cut your pants. He must be emo. Did you put your pants back on? Um, oh, I was in my underwear. Yeah, I like, you were, I like you were back. home anyway. What are you doing? We were doing it. It was tight. Yeah? What's that like? It was cool. <laughs> Whoa, dude. What's that show going to be called? That's, I don't know. That's like the, 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 the after school, like. The kiss and tell show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
No, uh, it's high school. It's that's like that's yeah, that beyond. Happens. That's way beyond. Uh, kiss and tell. That's like I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> you know what's really Duffy. fun? When you guys go to the website called narcapes.com and you use the code GTG to save ten percent and you purchase something really cool for yourself, like the new memories tape, new white fang tape, the eeks tape, or any of our fine cassettes, records, t shirts, pins and more. I would love you if you did. It would be beautiful. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. We already love you. We love you even more. Every time we get those sales from you guys. We love you even more. Good show. We still get, there's tons of videos on that playlist too. So we'll play another yeah. video. Yeah, play another video. The other, the other week, I let the rest of the playlist just play out at the end. That's cool. Off. Yeah, that was that's a good call. Play the video. Play the video. Hell yeah, Duffy, hanging in there. Hell yeah, man. Are you? Did you finish your second shake already? Yes, you did. She Not freaking me. out. Yeah, it sounded like an avalanche. or It sounded like we were in the shake. Oh, yeah, man. 3D. 4K. 4K, baby. 4K? <laughs> I'm reading about how to modify. What was after the, the last one? Well, I we skipped four words. Okay. Um, and then it was top ten real life secret society. Okay. Okay. Let's do that one. Yeah, that one's fun. The Secret World of the Freemasons. So, um, it, it's like in the Da Vinci Code, right? They're connected to, like, the Knights Templar. Is that right? It's the world's most well-known secret society. Rich with symbols and ritual, it's a source of legends, parodies. Who controls the British crown? Who keeps the metric system yes. down? We do. We do. And conspiracy well, I theories. Into that. Because so much organized crime uses the Masonic secret system and the good old boy network to be able to get away with murder. And I mean murder. Part of it. Welcome to the world of Freemasonry. True or false? The Masons are yeah, a secret definitely. society. No, it's, that's false. UCLA history professor Margaret Jacob is one of the world's leading experts on Freemasonry. True or false, Freemasonry is a religion. No, it's false. True or false, Masons were behind the American Revolution. False, false, false. Okay, but what about on the dollar bill? The, the eye oh, yeah, and the yeah, pyramid, yeah. I mean, that's Masonic, right? No, it's, it, it, it Everybody says Masonic. In fact, it's a commonplace in the 18th century, that particular set of symbols. True. Freemasons laid the cornerstone of America. Well, at least some of its most iconic structures. So what is Freemasonry? Simply put, it's the world's oldest and largest fraternity. It's membership a who's who of world history. George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, Winston Churchill, Mozart, Davy Crockett, Franklin Isaac Roosevelt, Marino. Harry Houdini, <laughs> Gerald Ford, yeah. Henry Ford, John Maybe. Wayne, even Colonel Everyone Sanders. Day. I'll get that shoulder tap. If you want to be a Mason, you can petition a local lodge for membership. You'll need to demonstrate good character <laughs> and belief in yes, some yes. sort of supreme being. Also, like oh, and in almost all lodges, it's men only. Next, you're up for a vote, says New York State Grandmaster uh, James call. Sullivan. The lodge votes to accept you, and then you have the three degrees that you go through. Once you earn the third degree, and yes, that's where the phrase comes from, you can join any number of Masonic offshoots. No, uh, Take Brent Morris. He's a 33rd degree Mason and a historian at the House of the Temple for the Supreme Council of the Scottish Rite of the Southern Jurisdiction. You know, it's that big building in Washington, D.C. This isn't like the Masonic Vatican, oh, wow. but it's a, it's an important building. It's an important building. I'm absolutely right. It's, it's one branch of Freemasonry in the United States, and that's our headquarters building. Inside, the Temple Lodge room is a stunner. Mm. And downstairs, there's <coughs> this. This is uh, the flag that Bo Aldrin took to the uh, moon with him. This flag, Supreme Council 33 Southern Jurisdiction, That's went, to, went the to the moon. 
Wow. <laughs> now, if tiny hats and small cars are your thing, then there are the party animals of Freemasonry, the Shriners. You may know them better for their 22 children's hospitals, where patients don't have to pay a cent. The Masons are philanthropic. They reportedly donate $2 million to charity every day. Wow, every day. Freemasonry began in medieval Europe as a guild for stonemasons, but lived on as a social organization. 1717, the first Grand Lodge is created in London. And now there are many men in these lodges that are not associated with, with the trade organization. They're gentlemen masons. They're not stonecutters. They're not stonecutters. And so something has happened. A modern fraternity has been created. It wasn't long afterward that the conspiracy <clears throat> theories began. All these men with different neighborhoods, different professions, meeting in the cafe, breaking bread together, <laughs> doing rituals. What could this be? So the, the response on the part of the authorities was, oh my God, this is a conspiracy. And so in 1738, Pope Clement XII issued the Catholic Church's first decree against Freemasonry. And it still applies today. <laughs> In the U.S., Freemasonry flourished until its secrecy made it the object of suspicion here, spawning America's first third party, the Anti-Masonic Party. Oh, wow. It elected eight congressmen, yeah. but lost the 1828 presidential yeah. election yeah. to yeah. Andrew yeah. Jackson, a proud Mason. Oh, Today, Freemasonry has about 1.3 million members in the U.S., down from 4 million in 1959. Father, the supreme architect of the universe. Among the members today, African Americans, architect. formerly relegated to a separate black-only branch of Freemasonry. And then there are members like those in Colonial Lodge Number 1821 of Washington, D.C. Most of them are in their 20s, and some attracted to Freemasonry by Dan Brown novels and movies like National Treasure. <laughs> they formed a new brotherhood called the Freemasons in honor of the builders of the Great Temple. Who here was sort of drawn by the mystery? I mean, I think that's part yeah, of it. Yeah, I, yeah, think, I think it's, all, yeah, yeah, I think it's a combination of yeah. Yeah, history, uh, tradition, and, and mystery as well. You know there's ritual, but you don't know what it is. Exactly. Yeah. And that, How do you not do that's a <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the reason people join Freemasonry and not the Rotarian. <laughs> So what about those secrets? What would happen if I found out the secret handshake and I weren't a mason? No. Because you wouldn't have to kill me? We, we might take you out and buy you a beer. The secrets of a mason represent my integrity as a man. I took a promise that I would not tell you what the secrets of a mason are. I didn't take a promise that I would care if you know what they are. Also a big secret, the meetings. No non-Masons or cameras are allowed, but St. John's Lodge No. 1 of New York City agreed to give us a glimpse of one. For meetings, Masons dress up in their Sunday best and, just like the original stonecutters, wear aprons. At the center of any lodge room is an altar. And all the activities of the lodge take place about the altar. Piers Vaughn is the lodge master. And would people talk about religion here in a meeting? Yeah, Absolutely not. There are there. certain subjects which are prevented from discussing within the lodge, and religion is one, politics is another. Religion and politics. Someone said that Masons were raised right. Yes. <laughs> and then there are the ceremonies. Each one teaches a moral lesson related to the legend of one Hiram Abiff, the architect Hiram of King Abiff. Solomon's temple. They can be a little unusual, as pointed out in this recruitment video. Even while blindfolded, try to concentrate on what you are asked, what is said to you, and what is happening around you. Everything will be explained to you in later sections of the degree. When a candidate comes in through the door, he's blindfolded because symbolically he's in a state of darkness, because masonry is all about moving from darkness into Masonic light. That it's about being unenlightened and then enlightened, that's right. As for what happens after that, well, that's a secret. Hmm. Hmm. What's going on? But for what? Members, Freemasonry is about Why? something What's happening much simpler. behind that closed door? I have met a group of men that I enjoy being with. 
These are people that I go out mm, together with, we socialize together. Each other. The guys I like yep, to be with. Kissing something. They're my friends. Kissing on something. All right. What is Bohemian Grove? Do you know? Do you know? Oh yeah. That's where them, uh, them naked Republicans go uh, stand in front of some redwood trees. Yeah, secret butt fucking says uh, BDG. Uh, Cameron says I got a bio test on morning. So good night, man. Good night. Good to see you. Um, Cameron, Carly just my integrity as a male. Yeah, all of these fucking secret society <coughs> things are just old white fools controlling, trying to control everything because they're fucking, um, I don't know. Because they or like. They're just trying to bang each other. Or they're just trying to bang each other. Which is, which is very true. I think that's a part of the, the whole thing. Okay. And revealed that all male members can only get, and that it's only 2200 all male members can get if they're not sponsored and can afford the $2,000 annual fee. That's cheap. They are valet, serve, drink heavily, urinate publicly, and perform strange rituals. Yeah, I heard actually like you're peeing outside is like part of the, uh, the whole thing. Like you're encouraged to just piss wherever, uh, wherever you want to go. Yep. I like the PP. Oh, yeah. uh, officially, no business takes place at the Grove. However, Weiss revealed that top secret plans and global business. I didn't catch that. Only discussed and agreed in Bohemian Grove. Yeah, so they plan stuff at at the uh, the retreat. Mm -hmm. There you go. They definitely do. What's that? Oh yeah, the the. I want to see that shit. It's so weird. It's like, what is going on here? It just looks like they're eating mushrooms, man. Yeah. <laughs> to me, probably are. I mean, who knows what the fuck they're doing? They're. The cremation of care. Other dimensions. What what was it? Um, that's that's the Alex Jones one, right? Yeah, he's part yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, he's. That's how he got famous. He snuck into all he made grow. Yeah, the that's human grow cremation of video. care video. Mm -hmm. Is it on the playlist? Um, no, actually, I didn't put that one on there. I didn't think to. I should have. Yeah, Bohemian Grove <laughs> cremation of care. Mm hmm. They've never let anybody see this, and they've never bothered to explain it We at have 13 all. minutes left. <laughs> they've just straight up not addressed it, exactly. pretended it doesn't exist. Carly, we'll acknowledge it. Carly just says, Bohemian Grove is where they go to dance around the owl and sing Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> that sounds Well, cool. they feed babies to a giant owl. Yeah. Babies. Feed that baby. <laughs> you have lots of babies. They're baby farming there feed for that big that owl. baby. Feed the baby. Feed, it feed the baby. Life. Feed the baby. It's kind of like farming. But they're all naked, right? Is that is that true? Babies? No. Oh. The Bohemian Grove. Well, I don't know. I don't know that part. Maybe. They might be. That'd be weird, but, you know, I bet, I bet they are weird like that. Yeah. I bet there's some dudes who are all like creepy and into it, and then there's some dudes who just go because they think I like, have to. Yeah, it's like their you know, dad. Their like, dad I really made... don't like walking around with a bunch of other naked men. Yeah, their dad made them go or something. Yeah, you know, like, they like hate oh, I hate going to this, Dad. This place sucks. Oh no, Bob Dylan's grandma says, "How many babies does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop?" How many? How many? Tell me, please. That's that's a lot. That's still a lot, Uncle. These dead baby jokes. Or maybe it's not a dead baby. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm going through like a roller coaster of appetite level. 
I was like, I was like, damn, yeah, I'm gonna get double, double quarter pounder, and then it showed up. I was like, oh wow, I can't eat that right now. And I ate it kind of slow, and now I like myself a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Doritos are always bomb. They're always fucking good. Oh, I made a sale! Yay! Yay. Thirteen sixty-six. What is that for? I don't know. Let me look. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Let's see it. Oh, it's still not showing up yet. It takes a second to get to my email. All right. It's 13 twice twice. Oh, hell yeah. 13, yeah. 13. Thank you very much. That was fucking sick. For that sure. That was dope. That was the dope devil. The dip, dip, dig, old devil. That's the devil. The devil inside. That's the devil we pray to. My God. Um. <laughs> but yeah. Fuck, dude. Yeah, Alex Jones uh, probably set all that shit up just so yeah, he could go viral. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, and then they probably agreed to let him. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start some real rumors, man. You know, like, people are starting to figure out what we do here. Shake it up. Make that, like, a big video of us dancing and naked around a giant owl feeding babies to it. That's no, don't believe that shit. Let's feed the babies. <laughs> there needs Feed all the beans. babies owl meat. More babies. Give the babies fried owl chicken meat. <laughs> we got nine minutes left on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful show. Talk Whoa. About nine minutes left. It's a long time. It's not really at all, though. No, I mean, I mean, we, um, you know. We did good. We did good. We did great, man. It was a great episode. Uh, you got the, you got the, what it says? Is that what it is now? Trying to see what this or what this okay. Yeah, the t-shirt. Nice, you got a t-shirt. Very good. The Memphis, Tennessee. You got the white thing logo. I like that. That's very good to hear. Thank you so much. And uh, he needs to put in the. Hey, uh, how Boone's here? What up, Boone? Only nine minutes left. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're on the table. What's up? This one. Uh, say, Boone, what up, buddy? What up, my homie? <laughs> Carly just says this is the most chill show. It's pretty yeah, chill. This is like the most chill of all yeah, our shows. It's the chillest right. one. Go, go, get getting fast to the chill. Yeah, get fast to chill too. But like Narioki is pretty wild, wild sometimes, and Wednesdays are really wild. Yeah. What's mm-hmm. that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, it's like a dick. I see. I've That's never, cool. I never seen it with the. Uh, that, that way, way that, that way, yeah. yeah that's, that's cool, man. That's new, dude. That's, that's new. That's cool, man. Usually you use the eight and the D. That's cool. You could do that. But he used the C and the three. When mm-hmm. I was a little kid, I didn't know how to do that shit. That's cool, man. I like that. Uh, probably just we're just hanging. Yeah, it's true. We are just hanging. That's sick. We're just hanging. Ain't nothing like a hangout party. Hey. Uh, Kevin says I got some dope production photos. Think you guys will love it. We'll send them. Yeah, I'd love to see some of those. Yeah. I'm yeah. And then Carly says getting fat is like getting together with your family for Sunday dinner. Yeah, yeah it's true. We're going to make this Sunday. Or we're not. We're going to go tour. We're going to be on tour. So we'll be in Arizona, so we're probably going to get Whataburger or Culver's. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> probably Whataburger. Whataburger. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> But we're gonna have Whataburger and P. Terry's like every day. Yeah, P. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, P. Terry's I mean, is bomb. There's definitely a rush too to get there. You get as much as you can. <laughs> I know you. Best. I know you like that Whataburger. Like, I don't sleep when that shit's coming up. You like I'll, P. Terry's, right? Up. You know P. Terry's. No, actually. Wow. P. Terry's. I just get the Whataburger. But P. P. Terry's is an Austin thing. It's bomb.com. Okay. Uh, we're going to be gone. You guys won't see us again for... Until the... You'll see us tomorrow night. And then not again until the 28th. 
Oh, wow. So, 7th. Oh. Or, no, not 28th. The 25th, 26th. 25th. Mm. But you're not going to see us for, like, two weeks. Almost. Two weeks. What? Yeah. Over two weeks. Yeah. It's wild. No, or about, yeah, like, two weeks. Over two weeks, yeah. Yeah, like two and a half weeks. Nice. nice. But we'll be out there on the road doing well, things. Well, hopefully tomorrow night we finally break $1,000 on our um, episode. Hell yeah. That'd be great. Now, all we need to do is get four, uh, well, now 10 song services. Yeah. Because we brought them down to 100 for a limited time. Figure it out. We all uh, the songs we got so far, which we all we're, we're gonna debut a bunch of song services tomorrow. We're gonna That's what's up. I like big bread. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, bottom of the ground. What we're gonna do in between that time? Um, Theo Boone says I was having a well-deserved body massage, and when they touched me, I started cracking. Crack. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Um, Bootbag says, I'll do a stream where I pretend to be everyone in the meantime. And Tablin says, be That'd be sick. The, the, uh, yeah, she could do Nartage Night Live on her account. No, right, fuck off. Yeah. We play I Like Big Brett right now. Hell yeah. There you go. This song is sick. I Like Big Brett. <laughs> it's good. Big, 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 big bread. I want more beer. Big, 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 big bread. Big, 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 big bread. Big, 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 big bread. Are you going in tonight? You had some beers. No. Hell yeah. You don't feel like it. I had these two and I quit. Um, Tablin says I'll be writing my script when you guys are winning my first commission script. Sick. Nice, dude. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. Whoa. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna stop me doing meat one. What? Kaiji says wet for burglar Brett. <laughs> Rebake says so I'm in a bit of a pickle. You should, you should get out of that pickle. You find Big Brett? I like Big Brett. I like Big Brett. I like Big Brett. I like Big Brett. Unlock your safe, take your money, get out of town Cause I'm a real good, no good, dirty ass thief Come to your party, leave the goods in my sleep Cause I'm a big bread, house invaded piece of shit But I'm not trying to make it better, but it's hard to quit All this money, money power, fortune and fame It's a shame, but I feel lame, trying to get out the game I like big yeah. bread Big Brits and I cannot lie. I put out a new song this week, but it was about crazy shit. <laughs> Sick. Crazy shit, crazy shit. Crazy shit. 
It's about like shit from like that uh, that flat pantry. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That that <laughs> one was pretty. Cr uh, that was a bit much. <laughs> we have one minute left. Attention, Nartapes Network shoppers. The time is now 8.59, er, 11.59, and we are about to close for the evening. We now ask that you take your very favorite finger and you hit the like button if you haven't already. Yeah. And we'll see you tomorrow night. At I'm wrong with my TV. I keep pressing that. It doesn't work. 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which means California time. Where we are in Los Angeles. That'll be our season finale. And then we'll be back in two weeks. So, we love you guys. Thank you. The time is now still 11.59. We ask you all, Nartapes Network shoppers, bring your final purchases up to the counter at this time. If you use your code GTG to save 10% off, that's fine. That's fine. But the time is now midnight, and the show is officially over for the evening. So, uh, I would like to just, uh, say thank you personally, me, Ricky, and I will say uh, that until unless these guys say something, and then I, and then you guys want to say something. Yeah, thank you guys for joining us. Shout out to everyone, um, and this has been a good season of the Paranormal Narcast. Duffy, thank you so much. Thanks for partying. Hell yeah, man. And um, Funkle, are you going to say something? Yeah. Um, <laughs> man, this is, this, it's a crazy show sometimes. Sometimes we do this show, I'm like, wow. I look around at the at the world around me, I'm like, wow, what is really going on here? Some I'm saying, man. Shit. It's, and it's deep. Yeah. And it's, 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 hard, it's a hard rabbit hole to just kind of like flirt with, you know? Um, yeah. But you can get hella deep, you can get books and stuff, but I just want to say, like, we love you guys and don't don't let it rule your life if you don't want it to if you're really i think the people that really do go down that rabbit hole all the yeah. way and like have no friends and stuff make the ultimate sacrifice i'm like i'm down for that it seems like a shitty life but yeah. but i'm down that you're trying to do that even though it seems like what the pointless yeah yeah just don't get don't get caught up in your shit i like big brick there you go all right well thank you guys so much this has been uh, the paranormal narcast right here on the narc tapes network um fungal take it away